on, everybody? Welcome to episode 194. We're only six away from the big 200. Uh, one, um, episode 194 of Two Dudes and Some Bullshit. My name's Dave McRae, coming to you live from the Voice Man Studios in Toronto, Canada. He's Tony Michael in Atlanta, Georgia. And it's Halloween. It is Tuesday, October the 31st, 2023, 9.16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live! We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. It's My- it's Michael Myers Day. We hope you had fun taking the kids around, trick-or-treating, dressing up as a family, running around the neighborhood with a butcher knife, slaughtering people, whatever. What, you know, whatever you were doing on this Halloween. It is Tuesday, October the 31st, 2023, Halloween night. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. Tony, happy Halloween to you, my man. Happy Halloween. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. Ah, <laughs> the exorcist, the exorcist. Oh my God. Oh I've been my on God. An exorcist kick uh, all day. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, I still got to see Believer. I haven't seen Believer yet. Uh, I'm going to see it. Uh, still got to see it. Uh, I have not but, seen Exorcist Justin Bieber. No, I have not. Uh, hey, hey, well, well, that's actually it. It's Exorcist Believer, Exorcist Deceiver, and Exorcist Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. It's a, it's a, oh, yeah. It's a whole thing. He actually gets possessed in the third movie. Uh, he's on stage. He's like, baby, baby. And that's a whole thing. It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, it's, it, it will be like the Halloween ends of the Exorcist trilogy where it's like, they just take like a sharp turn and they introduce like this new character and all that kind of stuff. Uh, oh no, Tony is glitching. Damn, he's glitching. He's going to have to come back in. We were dealing with this before we went live, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the reasons why we were a little late tonight is because he, uh, this sometimes happens. I, I, I think there's like a, a connection on Tony's end. Um, and, uh, this tends to happen, but hopefully maybe this will be it. Cause sometimes what ends up happening, we were having some trouble before and we thought we had solved it. And, but sometimes in the past he'll come on, this will happen. He'll come back into the room. We'll get him back on, and then all of a sudden, he's fine. So we'll we'll wait to see for him to come back into the room, and hopefully, there won't be any more issues throughout the rest of the show. We had just started to go live, but yes, it is Halloween. Halloween, it's here. It is here, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Halloween to everybody. Hope you had a wonderful Halloween, and you know, you know, like I said, the trick or treating and the uh, you know the candy and the costumes and the Michael Myers. Uh, hope you had a uh, a great time. A great time. If worse comes to worse, I I did say to Tony that he said his battery was low, but he might be able to you know uh, tap into Zoom via. Um, via the app on a phone, uh, on his phone. So uh, I don't know if he'll end up wanting to do that or what the situation is here, but uh, we'll see. We'll wait till he uh, comes back in. But nonetheless, hello to everybody out there. Geeked Out Turtle Fan is here. Love Evil Monsterism, one of our new members is is uh, here, rocking the uh, member-exclusive emojis. Calvonix Music sends in $2, says, watched Halloween 1 and 2 at the drive-in last night. You lucky some bitch. You lucky some bitch. Here comes uh, Tony. He's coming back. Tony is coming back. He is back. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony is back. I was giving people the update Fuck. on what's going on and what's happening. Uh, hopefully. Damn, make one make one fucking exorcist joke on YouTube and that's it. Shit hits the fucking fan. I know. I know. I, I, I did bring the viewers up to speed, though, that this was one of the issues we were dealing with before we went live. And, of course, this kind of, you know happens again uh but listen you know we'll 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 run with it we'll work with it maybe maybe tony's gonna experience a few exorcisms tonight we don't know but nonetheless we'll work with it we'll we we do what we got to do we do what we got to do um yeah you're 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 looking a little pale you're uh oh 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 it's because you're in black and white oh (laughs) excuse me (laughs) i'm going i'm going og tonight i've been uh you know, other than uh, watching, let's see, what did I watch familiar this month? I did The Conjuring, I did The Exorcist, I did the Halloween movies the last two days. But for the most part, man, I watched a lot. I mean, a lot of black and white, uh, old mm, black and white horror movies. Love it. Um, Peacock had a ton on there that I've never even seen. Right. So I was like, you know what? You know, I I could run through the cycle this you know month and do the typical movies that you know I've seen a million times over, or just start kind of 
venturing off into new stuff that I've never seen before, different types of monster movies, you know, stuff that I've seen, like the psychos, the birds, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, then I got into like some, you know, some of the, 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 the sci-fi films from the fifties and, you know, the, the movies from the forties and the thirties. So, um, that's, that's been kind of my, yeah, that's been my October this year. Um, just changing it up. I mean, there's so much, there's so many movies out there that's just, that I haven't tapped into, you know, and it's like, I keep, I don't know, like you, I don't know how, what you do for the month of October, but like, I, you know, for years, it'd just be the same cycle, you know, I just take craps and bathtubs. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> um, so I just, you know, I just, I wanted to do something different, you know, right. and, and, and like I started, you know, deep diving into a lot of old, old black and white films yeah. and um, a lot of good stuff out there. Oh, you yeah, know, I is. mean, I get, I get Halloween, you know, is the, uh, is the baby. It's the one that everyone loves and, and whatnot um, or what Friday the 13th or nightmare on Elm street. Um, but man, there's just so many great horror films out there that, you know, even I, myself that I never really exposed myself yeah. to that. Now I'm like, you know, getting into I'm well, like, damn, this is really fucking good. You know, to your point, you know, one of the, 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 one of the tragedies and this is happens to every generation. It's not, this isn't a, a you know, this is just a, a, yeah, it happens to everything uh, or happens to every generation is one of the tragedies is is not being exposed to uh, movies beyond, you know, populous films. And, right. and, you know, like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, the Halloweens, the Elm Street, the Friday 13th. But, you know, because we didn't grow up, you know, in the era our parents did, you know, through the 50s and the 60s, um, you know, we aren't, it, it, it isn't in our wheelhouse. It's not on our radar naturally, right? It's not, it's not advertised to us. It's not really advertised anymore at all. So you have to go looking for it. You have to dig for it. You got to find it. One of the things that my girlfriend and I uh, do on our birthdays, because our birthdays are so close together, is we will uh, watch uh, a couple old black and white films that we had never seen before. And sometimes we'd heard of them. We know they're classics. Um, and we and some of the movies we've watched are, are just like they're spectacular. Um, yeah. You know, and and it's I'm I'm just like these are fantastic. You know, um, it's it's like a, this was one that I got in a um, before my VCR died on me yesterday, which I was so. I was pissed. I saw I your post so, about that. Oh. I was getting ready to watch Halloween, right? That's, you know, I what I typically do on Halloween Eve, I'll watch one and two. And then on Halloween day, I'll watch four and then I'll watch three. Right. Um, that's usually how I how I do it. If I'm really yeah, feeling myself, I'll, you know, I'll go one, two, four on one night. But for the most part, usually one and two after about three hours, I'm like, all right, I'm good. Let's just save. Plus, I like saving something for today day you right. know so i sit I, I watched four uh and uh three and yeah as soon as i was ready to put it it's just dead i'm like oh, you gotta be kidding me but anyways i picked up a a, a batch of you know uh, of Is old there a vhs tapes and like like this one here horrors of the red planet with lon cheney mm. uh, and john carradine um yeah, I think I said that right. That was that was really good. You know, I had never seen it before. Sci-fi ish. This one, everyone's seen. The Haunting. Yeah, that's a classic. Black classic. Boy, yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, yeah. They remade you know, that so was, in the '90s. They I did. Think. They did. Um. So and then you know I did like the 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 Night of the Living Dead and stuff like that. But there was just and then there was stuff on Peacock. You know, the, uh, monster films like The Return of the Invisible Man. Um. That was all right. You know, and some others that were on there as well too. Uh, I had never seen The Raven before with Bela Lugosi. Right. Uh, and um. Uh. What's his name? Boris Karloff. Uh, right. I didn't realize Boris Karloff uh, played uh Lugosi's like kind of uh Igorish type character in that film which is really good but it's an hour it, right it's it, like it, you start it and and and, and it's done so yeah, some of those movies um, are really short you know that that's where I just thought like you know what I want to start branching into this stuff because there's a lot of good that's like even like getting back into doing the the horror photography photos now and doing that again you know I you know in collaborating with some of these girls here we're, we're focused on instead of doing like the Michael shoots or the Freddie shoots or the, the Jason shoots. We're actually doing a, like a, because of where we live is so very desolate and, mm -hmm. and very, you know, empty in a lot of places. We're going to do like a post, uh, a, an apocalyptic type horror shoot. Mm -hmm. So we've got some really cool ideas on how we're going to do that. I mean, it still falls within, you know, the horror family, but it's just, instead of doing like, 
Ghostface and Jason and stuff. Like I, I wanted to like take my photography into into just doing something more creative with it, yeah, yeah. rather than just doing the same, you know, you know, over and over again. And that's you know where I took the the movie watching as well too. It was like, all right, I can go through and watch these movies that I've seen a hundred times again. I I need new blood in me, you know, yeah. like I need something different. Yeah. Yeah. No, I hear you. It's, it's good for people. Look, look, if you're a movie fan, then, you know, we, and I understand that, I mean, there's certain people, look, I've met people that, that, that can't watch anything from the eighties, you know, cause they, they think it looks like crap or, you know, too old. Uh, there's people that don't like watching, you know, black and white movies for the same reason. And, 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 and it's like, look, it, it, every generation is like that. And believe it or not, you know, there will be a time, uh, if you're young today, say you're 25 today, there will be a time when, you know, you're, you're 40 or 50 P people will look back at, at saw or the conjuring and be like, it will happen. Yeah. <laughs> it will happen, um, you know, because technology expands exponentially and, and you know, we just continue to and, and, and how we consume our entertainment and media. Like, again, I mean, there will be a day there will be a day when kids when I say kids, I mean, like, you know, I don't know, if, if, teenagers, let's say, will will look at a device like this and be like, <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> excuse me while I watch a movie. Beep. <laughs> and, and and that's what it'll be. You know what I'm saying? Like it just it continues to evolve and 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 just get crazy. But yeah, I, I wish, you know, because it wasn't our generation, you do got to search it out. You got to look for it. You have to search it out. Uh, often, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll you know Google like 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 top uh, top twenty black and white thrillers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or or top twenty. Hitchcockian type of black and white movies, not Hitchcock, but type of that, you know what I mean? Or, or whatever. And some of the stuff that comes up and, you know, Do we you, watch, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. You still have a, you still have a VCR, right? I do. Yes, I do have a VCR. You have a. Um, well, I, did, a, I don't still have it from when I was a kid. I had to go to the like you know Salvation Army. No, I mean, Army but like a one, working, but... like a working VCR to watch I do. VHS tapes, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I know Toronto um is a very big music scene. Um, mm -hmm. they gotta have uh some vinyl record shops up there. Oh yeah, because that's that's where I got the, these in a bin for like yeah. I'm telling you the ones that I picked up it, it cost me like ten bucks and I walked out yeah. with like twenty. Uh, VHS tapes of just yeah. classic uh, white, you know, horror films. So I'm yeah, sure yeah. they probably have shops like oh, they that do. up they in do. that area. Yeah, you I know, know exactly and, where they are. You know, some, some, I just went on instinct. Some I was like, okay, that name sounds familiar or, you know, like the haunting. I knew the haunting, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, I got this other one called the, um, that I'm looking at it right now. The, the, it's called the day of the trips, trippets, trippets. Oh, the day trippids. of the trippids or yeah, trippids. Something like that. Yeah, never seen it before. Didn't had no idea what the hell it was. It's about. like, like well, I you believe know what? I believe it's 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 like an invasion of the body snatchers. It if is. I'm not That's, mistaken. Well, yeah. I watched it. I'm like, this yeah. is like kind of like an invasion of the body. But I'm yeah. just yeah. saying, I kind of like I saw the name. I'm like, fuck it. I'll what the hell. I have no idea what I'm getting, but it's going to cost me a buck. So it's Dude, like, you know what I mean? There's. I mean, think back to so much has changed. I mean, think back to you know, Agatha Christie and, and the old murder mysteries from that time. I mean, listen, and, you know, and I mean, this is, you know, the, you know, I, it's a, we're in a very different world now. Uh, yeah. but you know, there was a, 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 a book that Agatha Christie wrote called, um, 10 little N words. Let's just put it that way. Or I believe that was the original title. And then of course it was changed to 10 little Indians and then it was changed to, and then there were none. Um, and it, that's, that's, and that story has been told over and over and over again. Um, I believe that, I believe that was the original title. You guys can hook this up. I'm not making it up. Of course, you know, we're going back like, you know, years and years, not that it, you know, it should ever have been, but a uh, very different world. And, um, uh, but but the story is 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 you know about these people that go to this house and and they get picked off one by one. It's a who done it and blah blah blah. You've seen that told over and over again. But those stories are always great too, you know. And mm -hmm. and um, uh, there, there's so much history and and you know sometimes you know the history is is not flattering and and, and but it's history and it's and it's interesting and it's it's interesting to discover and and learn about and and watch even when it's uncomfortable. Uh, 
um, it's good and it's it's good that it's there. It's good that it exists. Yeah, you, you know, and and uh, so uh, yeah, there's lots of uh, amazing things to to you know and stories and films to look back on and discover. Um, but again, you know, you got to go looking for it. And and I think if you're a movie fan, if you profess to be a movie fan, you can't just sit and, you know, you can't just be comfortable with your movies. You have to be yeah. uncomfortable. And I don't just mean like, you know, uncomfortable uh, titles of movies. I mean, that's one way, but but I mean like, you got to watch movies. You wouldn't, you got to watch the old oh, fucking, I mean, you know, not films even from the 30s, movies, not the even 20s, old. the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. Mm -hmm. Not even old films, but go as far back to the '90s. American History X. I mean, that's, oh, those too. A yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of uncomfortable moments in that movie sure. with dialogue that's being said. You're like, okay, sure, <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's good for people to do that. You know, if you're a horror fan, uh, yeah. well, then discover other horror. You know, watch horror. F and listen, you know, horror has evolved, right? So, you know, horror today. Well, when you think of horror, you think of you know slashing blood chasing murdering suspense you know um but go back to the 40s and watch what a horror film was you know mm -hmm. uh i'm you know go and watch whatever happened to baby jane that's 1960 something um but that's fantastic yeah y you know and and i mean all well, sorts you hit of the, you hit the nail on the coffin there with about evolving that's exactly where like you know i spent the last you know several months here really um perfecting this new color grade that you've been seeing me share like with yeah. the landscape photos and the horror pictures and how I'm able to yeah. really create this almost like uh inspired definitely by like Sleepy Hollow Tim Tim Burton Sleepy Hollow that, that same type of very moody atmospheric type uh color grading that I'm doing to my pictures and then that's when I started talking to my friends again uh, about doing these photo shoots and I'm like I don't just want to do you know, the go-tos, like, I want to try some stuff. I want to, I want to yeah. experiment. I want to do some different things. And then we, that's when we started talking like, well, why don't we do like an apocalyptic type thing? Like, you know, and then we started looking up some ideas. I'm like, that would look really good with this color grade that I'm doing. And we're heading into the time of year where all the trees are getting bare and it's dead. So the effect that I do really pops in, in, in photos and whatnot. Um, and it's, it's just, I don't know, it just kind of re-energized me to wanting to do this again, you know, and rather than just like trying to plan a, a, a Halloween shoot or a yeah. Friday the 13th, because that shit took a lot of work. Too. Well, it also cost <laughs> a know? lot of money. Yeah, that as well. Because so, you got to buy like, all the costumes for it and all Well, the, thankfully, you know? I still have all that shit. So it's not okay. like, you know what I mean? Like most yeah. of it, I have the, the key right. stuff that like, right, I didn't right. get rid of. You know, like I, I, I kept some of that just in case. Yeah, yeah. But even still, even if I had everything, I just like, you know, as a creator, I don't want to be just like doing the same thing over and over and over again. That's I want to try some different things. And so that's when me and uh, a few of the girls were talking like, well, why don't we just, you know, try to do something a little bit really out there and just kind of see how, how we we go with it. And, you know, you know, especially because like where we live in Georgia, the further out we go, it's very desolate. I mean, yeah. it looks like no one's lived there for like 20 years. And I'm like, yeah this could actually look really fucking cool in pictures. Oh yeah, a lot of the photos you post of, of you know, like the country and those old homes and stuff. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, all right, uh, I'll get these little super, I'll get these super chats that came in uh, before we head over to the, uh, uh, the trailers we've got. I answered the first one, which is Calvonix. Uh, Dr. Terry Who sends in four ninety nine and says, wait, I thought the third Exorcist movie would be Golden Retriever, a crossover <laughs> Exorcist Air Bud movie. It might be. Well, I see it's a it's 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 a whole line. You've got uh, Believer, Deceiver, Justin Bieber, Golden Retriever, uh, Redeemer, uh, you know, uh, whatever Emer's uh, uh, th uh, themer. I saw your mom's beaver. I saw your mom's beaver. <laughs> femur. <laughs> Um, you know, it's a, it's a whole line. It's a whole line. And they get better and better as, uh, as, as you go along. Uh, super chat from new nightmare. Hey, what's going on? Nightly sends in nine 99 and says, hope y'all dudes are doing well and having better weather than I am. It's been a complete snowstorm here in Michigan all day. Basically a whiteout. What are the odds? Happy Halloween. Ah, you see folks, I told you, I remember when I did a, uh, what was it last year or the year before I went for a walk. Uh, it was in March, but I, but I went for a walk uh, um, in a park near me and I recorded myself on my phone. The video is on my channel, I'm sure. And I was like, what about Halloween in the snow? Of course, I had to explain to people who may not know that it's not, although it's not 
common. It's not unprecedented for it for Halloween to have snow. Now, when we say snow, usually there'll be a little bit of a, you know, it'll be a bit of a dumping of snow or maybe a sprinkle. It'll stay for a couple of days and then it'll melt, you know, and then, you know, whatever the case is, because it is only still November um, or the end of October. Um, but I had some people reach out to me and go, no, that's not true. It never snows in Halloween. I'm like, yeah, maybe if you live in Florida, I said, but if you live in the Midwest or the Northeast or in Canada, it's not unprecedented to see flurries or even a sprinkling, a dusting, or depending on the time or, you know, uh, you know, the kind of year you, maybe you do get an inch of, you know, of snow on the ground. Again, it doesn't stay. It's not like that's it now until like, you know, the spring, but to hear that Michigan got some snow today, not at all surprising. I know, I think out East in Canada, I think out in Nova Scotia today, I think they got some, um, as well. So I was just saying, what if like, can you imagine like, a Halloween movie where like the, a, a snowstorm comes in on Halloween. It's like, what the fuck, right? Mm. Power goes out, Michael in the snow. I'm just saying, no, you can't have that. You can't have that. It doesn't make any sense. No, it does make sense because it happens. It can happen. <laughs> it's true. We had a very dreary, cold, windy day today. It was perfect. Same. It was Same. like the perfect. It was like 40 if, degrees if you, here today, cloudy if, if and you, windy. If you wanted a picturesque type um a rockwellian type you know mm. atmospheric day for halloween yeah today was it today i was just like this is like perfect oh yeah perfect i and i i took I, I treated myself i had the day off so i drove out to this covered bridge it mm. very kind of reminds me a little bit of beetlejuice a little bit of sleepy hollow yeah. so i took a nice i took a nice shot of that and shared that just before uh just before we went live and just the whole mood and vibe like when i looked at the photo i'm like damn like yes oh, this yeah. is like because yeah. usually it's like either down here where it's sunny and hot and just like just doesn't feel like halloween you know what i mean like it just, just right. doesn't feel like the, this past weekend we were in the 80s yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. all weekend long. And I'm like, really? Is this what we're going into Halloween? 80 degrees? Because like we've had a great month of October. Very yeah. just a nice, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, not yeah. not too cold, not too warm. And then it got like 80. I'm like, oh, like I, I, know. Hate, I know. You know, I but then like today I'm like, oh shit. Like it's like 55. It's windy. I'm like, fuck yeah. And it's cloudy. So I was like, I'm taking advantage of this. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. No, so. it was great. It was great here today. Um, but yeah, I, I look at, I, I mean, I know traditionally, traditionally you think of, you know, the, not a snow Halloween, but it's not unprecedented for it to happen. As you can clearly see, even some people in the chat said it snowed here, you know, in Indiana and where's Indiana? Indiana's the Midwest, yeah, right? Yeah, one of our, so, one of our I mean, watchers. It can happen. Uh, it can one, happen. One of the guys that watches us, um, uh, bro, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting your name now. Um, but. I, sh I saw him share pictures of him and his mm. wife and kids um, trick or treating, and on Facebook. And I was like, "It's fucking snowing!" Like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like so, hey, that's an idea. It's an idea, Malik. I'm just saying. Uh, Josh McKenna sends in nine ninety nine. Says, speaking of black and white, have either of you ever purposely set your TV color settings to black and white to change your experience of a particular movie that was originally shot in color? I have not. But Tony yeah, is I did doing today. it right now. Hall well, I did Halloween 4. You saw me share the post. I did. I did. I, I, sh I, sh I When I was uh, watching Halloween 4, I watched Halloween 4 in black and white this afternoon. And I was like, nice. I'm just going to do it in black and white. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So. And Matthew Farisi sends in $1.99. One of our channel members here says, Happy Halloween, gentlemen. Happy Halloween to you too, Matthew. Hope you're doing well. I think that's all the Super Chats so far. All right. Let's right. uh, let's watch these. Uh, so so what Tony and I are going to do is instead of doing a Halloween watch along, the other day on Sunday, I did a Halloween watch along. I watched the original Halloween. I got that out of the way. And uh, so you can check that out. Um, but instead of doing a watch along here on the channel, which we've done the last few years, we thought it was Tony's idea. He thought, you know what? Why don't we watch all the Halloween trailers? One, two, three, four, five, six, H2O, Resurrection, Rob Zombies, one and every two, 18 one. kills. Every, and every, every Halloween every, Yep. And just basically going to give it as like, we're even though we've already seen the movies, but just kind of our vibes. How, did the trailers hold up? You know, yeah. were they good? Were they bad? You know, yeah. whatever. That's it. That's it. So I've brought the trailer up onto the screen. So we'll be able to watch. I, ho I hope I don't get dinged for this. I'm not going to have any audio though. It's just going to be Well, I visuals, have mine. So. Like I, I have, I have a separate video. I downloaded it so that I can watch it 
Okay, um, perfect. Well, I'm I, I'm just gonna have it up for the the the, the viewing audience, um, uh, but I'm not going to uh, have any sound. So, well, I will hear it, but they won't be able to hear it. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> so, you're not uh, gonna, oh, I'm gonna hear it. No, you won't. Yeah, well, because I'm gonna play it on my video. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, just, n not if it's uh, in your headphones. Yeah, I will. Well, you'll hear it. Yeah, but but they. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean. The uh, the video that I'm going to show on the screen, the audience won't be able to hear, obviously. Because oh, I, the audience won't hear it, but right. you're going to hear it, and I'll hear mine as well. Too. Correct, correct. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted the audience to see it, and hopefully I won't get dinged. If I do, well, whatever. Who cares? It's Halloween. Everyone's entitled to one good ding. <laughs> <laughs> the hell does that even mean? I don't even know. Everyone's entitled to one good ding. Uh, so where right. are you at on yours? I'm at zero zero, and it's going to pretty much go I'm, right as soon as I hit play. I believe I'm at zero zero as well. So, All right. Yeah. Okay, ready? Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Go. There's the logo. There it is. Yeah. Oh. The one. The only. The classic. The classic? Already a classic? Halloween. <laughs> there it is. There it hasn't even come out yet. It's already a classic. I know. I know. I just realized I have to. Uh... Oh, yeah. I'll do that over there in a second. 15 years ago. 15 years ago. All right. We're already showing the first kill in the trailer. We are. Like, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. Let me just. Uh, give, I got to give you some. Some fish. <clears throat> Michael, I think that's John Carpenter's voice. Shout out to Darren Sands of the Slaughtered Lamb who uh, brought that to my attention. I think Michael, Halloween. I think it might be Carpenter's voice. Yeah, Halloween. Take a shot every time you hear the There's guy Loomis. go. Halloween. There he is, sexy Loomis. Sexy Loomis. Ow! You gotta love Loomis. Marion Chambers, Nick Castle out in his undies. Um, but you know what? I mean, this look, it's 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 a classic trailer. <laughs> you know, it's old school, very 70s. Uh, talk about giving the whole the movie away. Why aren't people bitching about this? They give the whole movie away. They literally give the whole movie away in this trailer. They are. I mean, when you're watching <laughs> this right now, I mean, well, not really. You don't know what's, you know. No, but I'm just saying, you know. I mean, look. I, yeah, I would have left this out. I, yeah. would, I wouldn't have shown the ghost. No. Ghost Michael. I would have kept that as a surprise. Yeah. By the way, Tony. This, the hand going through the door, I would have kept that but not shown anything else. Yes. And by the way, Tony, you got I would not show this. You got to share your uh, Michael ghost photo. That's one of my favorite photos you've done. Oh, I definitely wouldn't have shown this. Oof. No, I know. Oh my god. Man. No, this is down like, she you, goes. You, down, why are you like why? John, why? That's a lot. That too, you're showing that. What the fuck? Yes, Michael. Damn, Ke they are showing a lot. <laughs> I mean, for what we know. That's you know right. what I mean? We're taking it in the context. We've already seen it, so we know it. That's right. But, you know. Good Lord. Michael King asks, is that an original trailer though? Yes, it is. Yeah, this yeah. is the original trailer for this the original the Halloween. This is the original trailer. This is it. This is it. One of, there's few, obviously. Well, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But this is the yeah. the, the one, the only, the Okay, classic. that's a nice fake because we know when she's banging on the door, Lindsay's not. Yeah. Okay, so that's. I love, I love that. Oh. Halloween. Halloween. By the way, Tony. All right, hang on. We're gonna. You ready to pause? Hold on. Pause. Pause. Okay. Yep. Um, I was pause just at the blacks. Okay. Perfect. What were you gonna say now? I was just gonna say that. Uh, let me go over to the other screen. I was just going, was going to, to say. say that you have to. Um, uh, I talked about this photo the other day. Uh, you have to share your ghost photo that you took. Uh, oh, Michael I, I in am. The, I'm, in the I'm, I'm, I'm re-editing it to the new color grading that I'm doing. Nice. Um, and I'm going to share it on Facebook. Oh yeah. I'm going to, I've done a couple of new stuff, but I'm also uh, going back into the archives and, and resharing a lot, but giving them a new look, giving the pictures, a new look, something different, right. something that people haven't seen before. Right. Um, and I've been getting a lot of compliments on it. So yeah. Oh no, hundred percent. I'm going to do redo that and share that on right. Facebook. Um, yeah. Reese. But, Reese brings Damn, up, they showed a lot. <laughs> they did. Reese brings up a good point. He says, Jesus, surely that wasn't the original trailer shown before its release. Here's the thing. This Back is, then it was different. Too. Well, yeah. And this is interesting because Halloween started, like, you know, remember, Halloween is a low budget, $300,000 
indie shoot, nothing of a movie. It, it, it didn't get a wide release. Like, it's not like it was, you know, picked, it, it's not like it was able to be released into, you know, 1500 screens across North America. Right, and it had, true. and it had that any sort true. of, you know, uh, ad campaign behind it. There was no marketing. I mean, there was a little bit of marketing maybe in the newspaper or something like that. Erwin Your Blondes probably had some money, you know, you know, whatever. But in terms of like, there was no like, like real heavy marketing push, for, you know, for Halloween. It only opened in a few little places, which is, back in the day a lot of those indie films used to do that they would open small and you would gain that word of mouth right if you weren't being immediately distributed by like warner brothers or paramount or universal or you know mgm or something you weren't being released and i mean you know um Trankus, uh, or uh um compass international pictures which was uh erwin yablonza's production company essentially they didn't have the the manpower or the funds to release Halloween across across the states. It didn't happen. So it released in like New York or it released in, you know, Toledo, Ohio. Oh, or it released and like Michael King brings up a valid point too. It's not like it's getting 15 million views on the internet because there was no internet back then. Well, of course. So of you, course. you had to catch this trailer on your television. Well, you but know? the thing is, to to Reese's point, when was this trailer cut? So it's right. entirely possible that this trailer wasn't cut on until 1979 when by that time there was that article in the village voice that talked that, that actually gave it a positive review because remember for the first little while it was getting lambasted it was getting like just like this is a piece of shit you know what i mean and then there was that 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 one review that carpenter always talks about i think it was in the village voice where it was like this was amazing and then from there it really spiraled and 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 so where and when did this trailer when when was this trailer released? That's right. an interesting question. I, I don't know. That's a very interesting question because they may not have had a trailer when they first put that movie in the theater. They may have had like an advertisement for it. You see the yeah. poster, you know, in the local newspaper. And like I said, you know, Toledo, Ohio or something. Come yeah, watch this indie film paper, tonight. Halloween. What the fuck is Halloween? Yeah, exactly. You know? But but in terms of like a trailer and like TV spots and commercials. No, are you kidding? This is a $300,000 movie. That's not how it happened, right? You look at what happened with Terrifier 2 last year. And although it's a different era, you know, what Terrifier did, that's what movies, low budget movies, how it used, used to, to work, right? Is it yep. is that you, and even Terrifier has, has way more going for it than Halloween ever did, you know, 45 uh, years ago in terms of marketing. And I mean, Terrifier has the internet, right? So, um, but the principle of what Terrifier, of what um, bloody disgusting did they released it in what was it like you know a couple hundred theaters right you yeah, know it was it, it had a very similar had a very similar halloween 78 type um projection the, you know the was, principle you know, we hadn't of seen it. something yeah. yeah the principle of it we yeah. hadn't seen a movie do that uh, and especially nowadays with, you know, with, you know, social media, you know, really making it easy for, well, you know, that's what it to, is. Yeah, you know, exactly. Um, this movie basically in did in principle the same thing that that's you right. know, Halloween night, obviously two completely different types of movies. Yeah. And two completely um, different eras and, and exactly, you know, the internet exactly. and social media. But it was media. cool to still see that, you know, something like that could happen yeah. in this day and age that we got to experience something like that. That's right. Now, when we get to Halloween two, that's different because Halloween 2 was distributed by Universal Pictures. Right. Because by this time, Halloween was the highest grossing independent movie in motion picture history. So now, now you have people a, are like, wait, what? What's a fucking sequel? Right, right. <laughs> but now you have a distributor on board and a higher budget. And right from the onset, right from the get-go, you would have had a marketing campaign. Um, so anyway, let's jump over to the other screen. And, what the fuck is a sequel? I know. <laughs> and That's out. probably what they were saying back in the day. Probably. Like, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. All right, here we go for Halloween 2. You ready? In yeah, 5, yeah. 4, 3, 2, 1, go. God, that was loud. Oh, it's the gunshots. Oh, yeah, yeah. I shot him six times. I shot him six I shot times. Him in the oh, wait a minute. I don't think I'm moving. Oh, no. There we are. I'm moving. There's the pumpkin. See, this is cool. I, I do oh, like yeah. that beginning, you know, kicking it off. Yep. You're hearing Loomis's voice. Like, that's good. I like that. You got me in. Yep. I wouldn't show her though, because yeah. she's the first kill in the movie. I got. I got to be honest. With you, I love that fucking pumpkin. That fucking pumpkin and it splits and the skull and everything is just so great. We will even remotely human. Even remotely human. 
Well, let's take a drink of the death ju- tonight. You don't know what death is, you damn bastard. Oh, there goes Ben Tramer. Yep, good old Tram. But they didn't show it. They didn't That's show it. That's what I like. They didn't show it. They just show the car slamming into the van. So That's that was right. Good. So you just assume the car hit the van. This is actually yeah. a solid trailer. I yeah. like it. Yeah, it's good. It's a good trailer. And then, and then oh, you kind of know it's not him, but you know. Eh, I didn't need that. Yeah. Sally. I didn't need You don't need this either. It's right here. What about here? And over here. I, the more I watch this sequel, man, the more I'm loving it. It's the best. Look, like, Halloween really 2, loving it. Halloween two is the best Halloween sequel, in in my opinion. In my opinion, I, I think it's I think it's a, a nice one. I still points. can't give it above four, but oh I yeah, yeah, yeah. You. No, I understand. I understand. I understand. Because it was only shot three years after the original, the film, you know, the film stock and the production value still feels very much like it is the same night. Like it, it, it I wouldn't have shown that. There's just only know? a couple things I would have taken out of this, yeah. you know? Um, the Sam Hain, Michael stabbing the bed. I don't think yeah. you needed that. Yeah, that's a great shot. I guess you could have this the stalking scene. Mm. Um, yeah, why not? It's a little, it's a little long, yeah, you yeah. know, I wouldn't have maybe shown it as like, they really showing almost all of it. Um, yeah. me! Wow. Me! Halloween too. Look at the production. See the production value has gone up on this, on this spot. So great. The n- more of the night he came yep, home. Tell more. me when to pause. Now. Pause. More okay. of the um, night he came great, home. Great trailer. Yeah, um, I, th- there's just a couple things I would have dialed back on. One, for sure, I would have dialed back on him stalking Lori. You didn't yeah. need to show all that. Him stabbing the bed. Loomis talking about Sam Hain. Um, that's really it. That, I mean, other than that, I think it was a solid trailer. I don't know uh, if I would have pulled back on anything. I don't know. I, really? I think it's pretty good. You don't, think they, you don't think they're showing too much of Michael stalking Lori? <laughs> Eh, maybe you could have, yeah, maybe you could have cut out a, a something. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I agree. Like with what Joe's saying here, the stalking scene is is disjointed. So it's like mm. we we know how it goes because we've seen right. it. That's right. Um, you know, so yeah. we know how it goes. So yeah, that's a valid that uh, that's a valid point. That that yeah. is a good point. They did chop it up so that you you know it's not actually going in order. So that's right. Um, no, it's I love the beginning. Yeah. The beginning brought me out. Yeah, the beginning brought me in where you hear the gunshots and it's like, I shot him six times. See, I think <laughs> I shot him in the heart. Bracket should have said, uh, no, you didn't. You shot him seven times. That was a mistake. I didn't mean. Because of course, in the original Halloween, he does shoot him six times. In Halloween two, technically it's seven. Uh, not technically, it is seven. It's literally seven. So yeah, in the original, he shoots him once when uh, after he strangles Lori, right? And then he fall, you know, he goes into the. And then when he's standing in front of him, he shoots him five more times for a total of six times. It at the beginning of Halloween two, he shoots him once at the top of the stairs after strangling Lori, and then when he and then when he gets into the room facing him, he shoots him six times so uh for a total of seven actually at the beginning of halloween too so it's a little bit of a mistake i but, shot you know, him whatever. seven times I seven just doesn't him, sound right no i <laughs> shot him 67 <laughs> times this is man well he's, i wonder if, i wonder i wonder eh? i wonder if it's for more of a religious aspect because seven is um i know that's something to do with god um mm. and someone in the chat room probably knows that but i'm, I'm almost probably positive that seven is something biblical more on the God side, whereas mm. six, obviously six, we know is the devil. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm almost um, positive. S- seven has something to do. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I, I do. I, I do really like though in Halloween two when he says, "I saw him six times." This this man, he's 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 not, he's human. not human. I fucking love that line. It's so great. It's so powerful. It's such a great line. All right. Uh, super chat from Fast Forwards 29 sends in 499. Said, what's, what's up, DT? Glad you have another two dudes episode. Hope you all are doing well. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you too, man. Thanks very much, mm-hmm. buddy. Really appreciate that. All right. Let's, let's go over the screen and all get right. going on Halloween 3 season of the witch. Here we go, Tony. In five, four, it'll be five, four, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Here we go. Halloween three. Oh yes. Isn't this the one where the like the spider crawls out of the witch's mask or something? Can't remember now. I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. I fucking love that. It's very short and sweet. It is. And you don't know shit. No, but it's great. 
It is. Yeah, look at I that. like yeah, it. I love it. it. Oh, that's yeah, so I creepy love this. as fuck. That's still creepy because that's a real spider. No CG, folks. Yeah. Nope. It's and so in the good. eyes. Yeah. Like, what is this? What are we doing? <gasps> oh, yeah. Love it. Oh, fucking great. What a great teaser. Season of the Witch. The night nobody comes home. Oh, okay. Pause. I fucking love that. Oh, I love that. That That's such a great. Well, I'm paused now where it's black after it said coming to theaters. And oh, okay. Hang on a sec. Let me, let me go. Let me. I didn't think I got the coming to theater. I get the coming to theater part. Yeah. I paused it once it ended and then oh, okay. faded coming to black theaters. just before. Right. Yeah. Okay. One second here. Okay. I'm, um, I'm um, now I, I did, I did watch a little bit. I, you know, I didn't watch a lot of it. Um, mm. it's been a, it's been a fantastic month. Mm. Um, but I watched a little bit of the H 45, uh, Tommy Lee Wallace panel with the H three cast. Yeah. And, uh, he hit something on the nail that they weren't thinking of back then where he, he wonders if Halloween three had been, properly promoted so that people understood what the fuck was going on mm. would it have had a, a, a more would it have been more successful that P, if they if the viewing going audience knows like okay we know michael's not in this movie we know it's centered around halloween it's themed around halloween but we're not going with michael would it have been more successful Right, right. I don't know because you and I have often talked about the, the the movie going audience is different today than it was when you and I were growing up. Back then, we didn't give a shit about anything. We just went and we saw it, it was fun. Like we weren't diving deep into you know theories and stuff. You know, we just if we saw something, we talk about it with our friends. Like oh, that was fucking awesome. Yep. Uh, you know, and um, you know, yeah. I mean, now. Everything is about the mythologies of these movies and the layers and, oh, you know, and, the, and the, having the nuances the, the and stealing your universes, word, you know, right, exactly. Connected the, the, universes, the, the, the multi. And, now, we, now we have a Halloween multiverse, you know, and shit. It's like none of this, none of this existed back in the day. It was very yeah. so. I don't know for sure. Uh, I, I am happy for him. Right. Though I very happy for him and Tom Atkins and I always forget the girl the girl, the leading lady who played uh do you remember Oh her name? yeah yeah yeah. No, I always forget too. I forget uh, her the name. The chat room will let us know. Um, but anyways, I I'm glad there's love for the film. I love the movie. I mean, I do. I I yeah. it, I watch 1 through 4 every year. Uh I have 3, but I watch 3 as you know, it's funny too. Of all the Halloween movies, it's probably the most Halloween movie. You know, meaning like uh, when you when you get into the lore of Halloween and you know, where you know, you know where it comes from and whatnot and that you know, you see kids trick or treating and you know everything else like just the whole vibe of the film. Stacy Nelkin, that's her name. Stacy Nelkin. Okay, cool. Um you know, it, it of like I said, of all the Halloween films, it has the most Halloween in it. Um, I just think had they uh, um, maybe if they had pushed it, you know, different in the marketing, you know, you know and let people know like, hey, we're doing something different. We're trying something different. I don't know if it would have with the title Halloween above it. Um, I, even if they had, had been forthright and, and said, this is, this is, you know, uh, you know, even a, no Michael Myers, I, I think, you know, I think, um, if you just called it the season, you know, season of the witch, um, and, uh, yeah, I think, I think, you know, I don't look, I, I don't think Halloween three season, this is my opinion, of course, I don't think Halloween, se Halloween three season of the witch is a great movie. I think it's okay. I think it's better than average. I think it's, um, no, I'm going to say, I, I think it's sort of average. And what I mean by that is- It's a fun, is, yeah, like I think it's sci-fi film. Like it's not in the realm of like, you know, don't go in the woods or even the burning, even though Darren loves the burning. And I know, you know, the burning has a lot of fans, but I just mean like in terms of the production value, the budget, you can really, you, you, you can really tell that the burning is like very, very low budget, right? Like, you know, in the early right. 80s, there were a lot of like very, very low budget horror movies because everybody was getting in on the game and whatnot. Halloween three is above that. Cause obviously it was, it had like a two or $3 million budget. I mean, I mean, they, they had some money. It was theatrically released. So it has some polish to it. It, it doesn't look like a real low budget stinker. Um, but I would say that even if it just was called season of the witch, it might've fared a bit better. Um, now let me ask you this question. What if hypothetically, what if Halloween two didn't exist 
and they followed up from the original film into Halloween three season of the witch that they're just the idea that what they're doing is trying to tell a different Halloween type story, you know, with each new movie that they do. Well, that's an interesting question you pose because, because there's no it, Halloween two now there's right, no, no sequel. It just no Halloween two. Maybe right. may, I mean, again, maybe, maybe, um, uh, you're probably more, yeah, maybe, maybe again, it, it depends on how it's marketed and how, and how it's presented to the public and, and how honest they are about what's going on and whether people want to be on board with that. Um, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I, I, maybe. Cause I, again, I, it's different. It's, we're talking 1981. Well, yeah. And, the, and you haven't had a sequel with Michael Myers and, and Correct. Uh, you know, so there, there isn't this expectation that you are building a franchise with, with this killer. Um, it, it is simply, you know, one and done. And, and that is the story. Now we're doing something else. I think, I think there is some merit there to, to discuss. Um, yeah, maybe I, I will oh, say this I though. Think Dave's got a video coming up. What if Halloween maybe. two didn't exist? <laughs> but I, but I will say this, I will say this. I absolutely love the subtitle, the night no one comes home. I, I absolutely love that. And I also love the Halloween three poster. Uh, and again, I don't, I, hate, do too. I don't hate Halloween three. I don't love it. Like a lot of people do. I think it's okay. Like, I think it's like, it's average. I think it's, it's fine. It, 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 to me, it blends in with a lot of early eighties. You know, you got the prowler, you got, you know, my bloody Valentine, you got Halloween three, you got like, you know, like to me, it's kind of in that mix of, yeah, it's good. It's fine. You know, it doesn't blow me away or anything. I couldn't care less if they made a sequel to it or if they rebooted it. There's a lot of fans that don't want them to, you know, and you got, uh, the, you got, re you got Mr. remake it. You got, you got Mr. Playboy, Tom Atkins, man. He's a ladies man. He's a ladies man. <laughs> Me. He is Although a ladies man in that movie. movie. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is slapping asses and taking names. He but is. I, what literally. I love, <laughs> he, literally, literally. But what I love about the Halloween three poster too is the 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 silhouette of the kids against the backdrop of this like reddish dying sunset. Yeah. Yeah. And the kids though almost look. There's something about them that their shadows look or their silhouettes, I should say, because it's not their shadows, because shadows would be like, you know, on the ground. Their silhouettes look slightly in, slightly elongated. Not 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 like so much so, like like, like to the, but, but just, I don't know, there's something about them. They all look just a little like thin and and, and I don't know. I, I've, I've always yeah. thought that. I've always thought that. Not, 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 not like, you know, a lot. There's just something about their shadows that just, it's an eerie image to me. It is one of the most eerie images on any of the Halloween posters. You, you you see this dying reddish sunset. It says, the night no one comes home. And then you just see the, and because they're children and you see, they're, you see, you see like you know, the witch's hat and, and whatever, and they're just there. And, and it's just like, I don't know. To me, it's just an eerie image. I've always really, really liked it. Um, and I, mm -hmm. I like the movie. I like the movie enough. I think it's serviceable. Um, but I don't think it's, it's you know, like these people that are like, it's the best Halloween movie. It's like, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah. All right, let's go on to your favorite Halloween yeah, baby. 4. Let's do it. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Now, I believe this should be the trailer with Don LaFontaine's voiceover at the beginning, right? It is. That's right. 10 years ago. Yeah, good Ready? old Don LaFontaine. All right, here we go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Ah, yes. 10 years Ten ago. 10 years ago, on the night of October 31st. On the night. A small Fuck Midwestern town fell victim to an escaped killer. Under the cover of darkness, he carried out the most horrifying mass murder on record. Sixteen people in cold blood. Ever since that night, no one has forgotten his name. And Halloween... You're like tripping me out because he's talking and then you're the talking same. on a delay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I love this. I love that beginning. Mm -hmm. It's a little callback to the original. Yep. Yeah, that's we right. We obviously know the reveal of that. Yeah, we do. But at this point, you don't know who this is. No, at this point, you don't know. No. Michael! Michael! I love that. Hey, listen, I'm not crazy on the mask, but I love that shot. There... That little girl and anybody who gets in his way. Yeah, I know. God damn it, you killed my... Rachel! Yeah. 
It's a it's a great trailer. A very tight. It really is. Talk about amping you up. Oh yeah, like, yeah. It really is a fucking great trailer. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a great trailer. Not long. Nope. Halloween four: The Return Michael of Michael Myers. Myers. Maybe no, no one way. knows how to. <laughs> As soon as it fades to black, I will yep. pause. Amazing. Opens Friday, October 21st. All right. Oh, this Trank is international on the on the yep. screen. Whatever, that's fine. All right. As soon as All the right. Trankus thing went out, I or as soon as the Trankus International thing went out, I paused. It. Okay, let me let me let me uh yeah. hang on a sec here. Yeah, short, sweet. You know, if I were someone back in the 80s as a teenager being pissed off at Halloween three, I saw something like this, like, yeah, yeah. Michael's fucking back. It's it's yeah. a really fucking good trailer. It gets you hyped. It up is a good it. trailer. And having Cut done well, with- it gives you everything that you want, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, it's and it's it's what it's short, like a minute maybe, if that. Well, maybe a little That's longer it. because of the the yeah. narration at the beginning. But, but yeah, I mean, having Don Lafontaine's voice there at the beginning, rest in peace, Don Lafontaine passed away in two thousand eight. Um, but having his voice there and and uh, it, it's a yeah, it's it's a tight trailer. I mean, it it is. It's it's really good. Um, feels more like a TV. Sp- well, the energy of the trailer. After the narration feels more like a TV spot, a modern TV yeah. spot, because how quick it cuts and, you know, the energy. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, you're right. Great. For, for the 80s, that's definitely, you didn't see a lot of those quick cuts, you know, yeah, back it's, then. It's, it's quick. It's, it's, it's high energy. You know, they're, they're yeah. trying to build like all this shit that's going down. Yeah. I, I, uh, I mean, what is there to say about Halloween four that hasn't already been said? I mean, it's, uh, certainly my second favorite Halloween, uh, sequel after Halloween two. Um, and like I've said many times when I watch, if I want to watch a Halloween movie, it'll be one, two or four. And I call it the Loomis trilogy, you that's know, it. uh, and cause that's you, all you need folks. It's all you need. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, really I mean, you know, we've talked about this before, but imagine if there was never like it, it's hard for people to wrap their minds around because it is, I get it because it, it's be, because of it's so there. It's so, you know, in the pop culture, but imagine if they literally, literally never made another Halloween movie after four. Now, how the last shot is of Jamie on the stairs. just Jamie on the stairs. That's it. That's Nothing it. Nothing else. What a, I mean, what an amazing, because Halloween one, two, and three, excuse me, one, two, and four, which acts as sort of the Loomis trilogy, as I said, like, you know, as I like to call it, um, you have three options. You can watch Halloween and it's an, you know, original intent, which is the first movie only. And that movie, you know, wraps up and Laurie goes from not believing to, you know, believing it was the boogeyman. As a matter of fact, it was. And there it is. And he's just gone and he's out there and that's it. Uh, so you have more of that eerie, unsettling, uncertain, ooh, creepy ending, or you want to go with the happy ending. So you want to go with Halloween too. Uh, yep. And Halloween too is the happy ending. I mean, you know, it doesn't quite seem happy at the end, but it's wrapped up. Michael is dead. Lori's, you know, being put in the ambulance. She's being driven down the road, maybe to Russellville, to another hospital to get taken care of. I'm sure she met her parents later that day and, and you know, happily ever after sort of thing. Or if you want the dark ending, like dark and disturbing ending, you go with Halloween 4 because that's the full circle ending. That's that's what Loomis was trying to avoid from the very beginning was the cyclical nature of this and 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 evil one. I mean and and I mean Loomis was on the verge of murdering a child. He that's he, true. he 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 literally didn't even question it. He took out his gun, pointed it at a 7-year-old child. I know Jamie Lloyd in, I know Daniel Harris in real life was like, you know, 10, but the character in the movie is seven. And so he takes out his gun. He points it at the seven-year-old child. No, no. He was going to shoot this seven-year-old child uh, because the thought of it happening all over again was just too much for him. He was, he was, he was gone. Loomis was going nuts. Loomis, he couldn't take it. He couldn't take the fact that it was starting again. And how poetic there is this, 
you know, it's not a six-year-old kid, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, right? The same age child, there she is at the top of the stairs with a pair of scissors in her hands. It's not a knife, but it's scissors. Blood all over. Just finished stabbing her stepmother. And at this point, because there's no Halloween 5, we don't know if her stepmother survived that. We have no idea. At this point, we're, we're just assuming that the stepmother died. So there is this little girl in the clown costume, in the clown mask, 10 years, well, no, I guess it'd be 1963, 21, 2, 3, 4, 25 years after 1963, but 10 years yeah. after 1978, 25 years after it happened, and Loomis is like, oh my God. And he pulls out the gun and the girl just stands there, lifts up. You don't need to know what happened to her after that. I mean, what likely happened? She was probably taken away, thrown into some sort of, you know, hospital, and maybe she spent the whole, you know, her, who knows? That's not the point. It doesn't matter what happened after that. The point is evil one. And that's and 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 that's what that communicates to the audience at that moment. You cut to black, and there's no like crazy rock song that comes in that takes you out of that moment. The end credits Christmas to Halloween. Oh, God, man. No. Although I do like, although I do like that song by Creed. I do. It's a great well, and, song, and, and but listen, this doesn't belong in a Halloween movie. <laughs> no, but listen, listen, uh, listen. I've watched horror movies where there's been sort of you know maybe like an old like maybe like a 1960s pop song that you know um, comes on. It, 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 it's not that you always have to have a piece of music that that fits the tone that you ended on. I'm just saying that I prefer when we end on some sort of epic, ominous, eerie note that I don't want, as a viewer, I don't want to be taken out of that by some sort of, hey, baby, like, ah. now I'm no longer in that moment anymore. I've been taken out of that moment, but I, as a, I want to leave my audience with that moment. And when you watch the credits to Halloween 4, it's just this eerie sort of like, it kind of sounds like the, uh, the soundscape they had at the beginning of Halloween 4, which is like, you know, this, it's just sounds. It's just like, it's just weird sounds as the credits roll and you're left with that moment. Oh my God. You know what I mean? So that feeling that you had is still there because Ooh. you're not taken out of it and that's it. And imagine if they never made another one and that was just it. And then all the people out there around the world going, they should make uh, another one now with Daniel Harris. I oh, still, well, I still go. wouldn't. I still wouldn't just for the simple fact oh, of... Um, no, you it, don't need it, to. It, it comes full circle. Oh, I mean, yeah, you, great. you literally like you how the movie opens with young Michael, you see him there in the clown costume and how the movie ends. Yeah. Jamie um, in the clown, like the symbolism behind, like you just, you don't get a better ending than that. No, That's you why I, you know, I, I've, I've, you know, I've said it many times, Halloween four next to two, you know, is the best sequel. It, we, you know, they, they nailed it. They got everything right. I get the mask argument. I, I you know, sure. it, it is what it is. What it sure. is. You know, yeah. I've always said that. You know, well, he's not going to have the exact same mask. I feel like he found something that was in likeness to what he had originally. Right. Um, but you weren't going to see the same. I the the missed opportunity you and I have discussed is he should have just kept the bandage on and just cut out the eyes. That would have been fucking great. Right. Um, that would have been creepy as hell if they had lit it properly and whatnot. But you know, it is what it is. Um. Yeah. So, but I get the mask argument. Other than that, I mean, you can't deny Rachel's a great final girl in that movie. Um, you know, some of the best scenes, you know, the truck scene, even though you got to suspend your disbelief on how he gets on the truck. But once he gets on the truck and gets going, fucking love that when the music hits. Um, the rooftop rooftop scene is one of the best, you know, in the franchise as well, too. Um, yeah, they just they they executed everything right in that sequel. And uh from that moment on, after that, it's been just well. We're about to go into it. It's been <laughs> we are, we are. But it's yeah, it's, it's such been a, like the Titanic ever since, and just I sinking a and slow, I, painful death. Well, Titanic didn't sink slowly, but you know. And 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 I know people like to refer to four, five, and six as the Thorn trilogy, but in part oh, four, no, but in part four. There is no thorn. There's no thorn there no tattoo. Thorn. There's no tattoo. There's, no. there's, there's no. nothing. There's no thorn. It doesn't allude to thorn. doesn't talk about thorn. There's no tattoo. There's no markings on any walls. Nothing. It ain't no thorn trilogy. It's it's a it's a thorn double feature is what that garbage is. Anyway, okay, here we go. So let's now let's start into the thorn nonsense. Here we oh, go. Oh god, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think he growls like King Kong too in this trailer, doesn't he? Oh, is it this trailer where he sounds is like it King this Kong? One? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. 
There she is. Yeah, there is roaring but in this one. you know where he is. Yeah, there's roaring in this one. There it is. There it is. There's the roar. <laughs> <laughs> this time they're ready. Yep. Uh, uncle. This time he's on mass. Why is there a zipper this sound? This time Why is there a he zipper drops sound? a single tear from his eye. Isn't there a zipper sound when he tries to take Did he Something pull down like his that. pants? I don't know. I think he pulled down his pants. We're going into a whole new direction Halloween with the movie. Five. Not nearly as good as the okay pause it not pause. near i don't even know what the fuck i just watched that oh my god did, did you hear the kong roar oh yeah it's kong it's kong <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's king oh, kong oh my god but it's a, it's a it's a it's again this acts more as a as a it feels more like a tv spot <laughs> It feels it more is, like a TV spot. This was the trailer. I remember this being the trailer back in the day, too. This is the theatrical um, trailer? That's yeah. so weird. Because yeah. it feels more like just a 30-second TV spot that would have aired in 1989. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. Interesting. But no, look, I mean, Halloween 5 is, is an well, abomination. Well, just like the movie itself, the trailer blew. <laughs> Halloween 5 is an abomination. Blew. And yeah. and I... I Shit, it literally, literally... Yeah. The zipper sound that you hear in that trailer is them unzipping their pants and dumping all over <laughs> Halloween 4. That's literally what they're doing. That is literally taking a shit on Halloween 4. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. So that that right there was Dominic something Orithal. I always get his, his name. Uh, the director. That's him pulling down his pants, taking a crap. No, look. I mean, listen. If you love Halloween 5, and there are people out there that do, that's great. That's great. And, and it's not that there's no redeeming qualities. There are, even in the worst Halloween movies, there are redeeming qualities. Like the laundry shoot scene. That's a great scene, right? You still have the, you know, the the fall atmosphere. Dr. Loomis is, well, Dr. Loomis is fucking bad. He's his, he, yeah. this is the movie where he is, Dr. Loomis <laughs> should, drunk. Dr. Loomis should be arrested in this movie. Dr. Loomis really should be should. arrested. Hang on, I go to bed through the screen here. Dr. Dr. Loomis should be arrested in this movie. Uh, because you know, I think he's gonna just. But there's a lot of things that don't make any sense. Like you know, you look at like, oh, like yeah, like what someone just wrote here that Michael's got a mask on when he's in the jail cell. What? What? When the police apprehends oh, a person, don't even, don't even get me started. They don't leave the fucking mask on the fucking. Dude, don't person. get me started on the. <laughs> As I've said many oh, times, shit. I've said many, many times throughout the, the course of, of this channel, if you follow me for any length of time, you know this, you should never show Michael Myers in a vulnerable situation. Now, what I mean by that is I don't mean he should never be in a vulnerable situation. I mean that never show him emasculated is what I'm saying, right? So it's not that, I mean, obviously Michael Myers is going to face adversity. People are going to fight him. People are going because people don't want to be killed and he's trying to kill people so i'm not talking about michael facing adversity or facing struggles trying to get to somebody or fighting somebody that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about um when i say vulnerable i mean really what i mean is emasculated like he's sitting like he's kneeling he's kneeling on the on the jail cell floor in shackles next to a water fountain playing with his with mask his, on with his <laughs> mask on playing with his chains and he has this vibe to him oh shucks they caught me <laughs> <laughs> right and it's just like what the <sighs> fuck i don't want to see that i shouldn't see that that's crazy another thing too is um uh oh what the hell was i gonna say damn it i was gonna say something oh well uh, killing well, rachel obviously well killing the rachel thing was bad but also too this doesn't make any sense i don't think this is properly motivated at all so so you have Think about what Rachel and Jamie had just went through. Only a year earlier, by the way, because Halloween 4 takes place a year after, excuse me, Halloween 5 takes place a year after Halloween 4. So it's only a year later. And when Dr. Loomis gets on the phone and calls Rachel, Rachel's just gotten out of the shower or, or about to go into the shower, or, you know, whatever it was, right? It's right. not long before she dies. And uh, Jamie's having one of her episodes at school, uh, her her psychic episodes. And uh, Loomis is on the phone and he's like, uh, Rachel, Rachel, can you check on Max? Don't you do it now? Go check on Max. You know, doctor, I mean, he's just fucking, the bourbon's just reeking off his face. And so, and and Rachel's like, uh, Max is outside. Uh, he's fine. Uh, he just said he's fine. And he's like, just do it. Do it now, please. Right? you know whatever and rachel goes 
okay, fine, I'll be back. I'm like, why would she respond like that? Think about what she just, if Dr. Loomis calls you on the phone, think about what you've just gone through. If Dr. Loomis calls you on the phone and says, check the fucking eggs on the stove, <laughs> you're gonna go check the eggs on the stove, woman. Think about what you just, if Dr. Loomis calls and says, throw a shoe at the window, you're gonna throw a shoe at the window. I mean, think about what you've just gone through. Why is there this dismissive sort of like, oh, you're totally uh, like ruining my moment here. There's nothing to worry about, dog. Don't come on. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So that's one of the things that there's, and of course, Michael fucking kicking rocks underneath the the the, the tree and <laughs> trimming. Oh God. Listen, listen. If, hey, if you love Halloween Five, we're just we're just poking fun. It's I all in good fun. About it's that all in good fun. It just popped in my head. It's like. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> like the, oh, you mean like the jail cell when he's on the no, show? No, when he's kicking the rocks. <laughs> oh, well, this is what I don't understand. I don't Sam know what I'm doing here, guys. There. I don't understand it. You've got Sammy and Tina. And, I know, I know. I and know. then and then they're in the he's in the background and he's got his back to them. What's his back to? And then somebody, I remember this one. One guy reached out to me a few years ago. It's the gardener, Dave. It's not the gardener. No, it's not. It's Michael. It's not the gardener. Hey, if that helps you sleep at night, knock yourself out. It's not the gardener. Yeah. Anyway, the house. <laughs> Do you remember this when he the, when, sing, the single tear drop? Oh, that or when he's in the closet, he's got the oh, opportunity to kill Rachel, oh, and he just kind of comes like out. Me. Oh, but you remember when he's in the closet, he's got the opportunity to kill Rachel, and he comes out, and he just takes off, and he goes the other way. What the hell was he doing? Going to take a shit before he dives in? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what's going I on know. here. I don't know. All right, let's go on to Halloween six. Halloween Thanks, six, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen. So this was the very first Halloween movie I ever saw in the movie theater. I believe it was yours as well, right? Same. Wasn't this yeah. one of the most single, most disappointing movie going experiences of your entire life? Yeah, I wish, you know, I always tell the story. I wish the, uh, the girl I was dating, who could tell, she could tell it better than I can because mm. I went in, I was so jacked. I was so like, you know, because this is your first oh, Halloween I thought, I thought you meant right? you were like, jacked. No, like just excited. <laughs> okay. Like, you know, like, because it's the first time I'm seeing Halloween on the big right. screen. And obviously, you, my mindset was a lot different then than it was now, you know, um, as far as, you know, my liking for the franchise, what I liked about it, what, you know, I wasn't thinking along the lines, you know, like I said, different time, different era, you know, we didn't right. have all this, you know, going on. So I knew nothing. I had no fucking clue. Right. Because in the trailer, they don't like what we're about to watch here. They don't really led on to a lot you know what i mean so you don't really know and i i'm stoked i'm gonna see daniel harris you know back on screen yeah. gonna know what the fuck the man in black is all this stuff like that oh, yeah. and literally i like all you saw was just this total like excitement to just total like just <laughs> defeat like and she she literally watched it i'm like i'm screaming at the fucking screen what the fuck is this shit where the fuck is danielle harris and she's just trying not to laugh right the right. whole time i'm just like pissed yeah. the fuck off yeah um but you know but we will it, say it, uh, it's got great it fall atmosphere it's probably the now excluding halloween three from what i just said being yeah. like the most halloween type movie yeah this has the for a halloween movie included my, with michael myers in it this has the best aesthetic look and feel yeah as far as like it you feel like it's october oh yeah there's some great cinematography like springtime yeah um they did a phenomenal job uh just unfortunately they just made some never mind let's just watch all it. right here we go five four three two one and go dimension film dimension oh yes good old halloween four uh, excuse me six yeah, I saw this in the movie theater. This was when Brute, well, he couldn't get in because he wasn't old enough. Oh, I wasn't See, old enough See, they focused more on him, or I'm sorry, like Daddy. Paul Paul Rudd, um, yeah. Kara. Yeah. Daddy. Of course, we don't see any of this in the theatrical. Kill for me. The yeah, it's, uh, oh God, this is Blankenship. But you know what? Like things like that with Michael outside and the lightning illuminated. I, I like that stuff. No, I, I, yeah. I like six better than I do five for sure. I don't like the thorn part of six. I think that's just crap, but I like. See, this is all. Now, remember, this is all I fucking saw. 
I'll yeah. wait till it fades to black. Yeah. Okay. So this is all I see, right? Yeah. I have no fucking clue yeah. that Daniel Harris is not in this movie. Yeah. I thought like, you know, we're going to get surprised, you know, that, mm-hmm. that whatever and whatnot. And so I, like I said, man, I, I'm fucking excited. And You're I'm jacked. You, like I was. Your biceps I are pulsating. Was, your pectoral yell, muscles are rippling. Yelling. yelling. <laughs> yeah. My, my 15, 16 year old scrawny muscles. That's right? it. Yeah. Your thighs are throbbing. Uh, <laughs> You're just ready to go. <laughs> thank God too that we when we went and saw it, there wasn't, it wasn't really a big, you know, there wasn't many people there um in theater and i was no, just like what the sense. fuck is this shit yeah what where's daniel harris like oh, yeah. she's just like calm down i'm like no this is fucking bullshit i've waited six years for this fucking shit and this is what i'm getting I fuck know. you and from that mo- moment on my, my 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 relationship with this franchise has just you know been like my love life downhill yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> no but here's here's here here's the thing is is that uh, yeah, no, look, it was the first Halley movie I saw. I was 16 years old. Bruce was 15. We went to the movie theater with the intention to go see it together. I was 16, looked 30, sounded 40. Bruce was 15, looked 10, sounded 10. Uh, so he couldn't get it. So I got in without showing any ID because, you know, it was rated R. Uh, so Bruce went and saw seven. I know what you're thinking. Seven wasn't rated R. Not here. Uh, it was, oh, ra- he went and saw seven. He went and saw seven. Oh, he, got, well, he, he, oh, he got the better of the hundred <laughs> percent. He did. <laughs> I mean, seven is one of the great psychological horror films in history. It's one of the great ever. horror films ever made ever. period ever, <laughs> ever made. And he had the chance to see that in the theater. Well, I was fucking sitting there in a, theater watching Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. And I, I would have loved to have been there next to you just to kind of get your vibe of what you were thinking the whole yeah. time as you were watching it. Oh, I was disappointed. I, 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 because it's a shorter film than Seven, I left and I remember sitting in the little lobby waiting for Bruce to get out of Seven and I was sitting there and he came out and he's like, dude, that was fucking great. Oh my God. Yeah, whatever. And he's like, how was Halloween, man? And I'm just like, uh <laughs> and uh, I think we took the bus home and I just was bitching and complaining about it the whole time. So it is what it is. And then of it course, really Halloween H two O. Now this the first time we retcon the franchise timeline. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is, uh, arguably, I, think we get, I actually think we get Creed in this trailer. Oh, I, we might. I'm not sure. I think we do. Um, this movie is, generally speaking, this is the fan favorite. This tends to be the, although I think it's aging, although I will say I think uh, it's not aging as well as some of the other fan favorites like Elm Street 3 or Friday 6. I think yeah, ha- it, I think I, H2O I, I, is, is aging a little less. I agree. I was just about to say it's not like... For a while there, it had the Nightmare on Elm Street three and Friday six fan favorite. Like it, people may not include it in the original run of the of the, of the original. I still franchise. think it has that generally, but it I'm does. Yeah. It still it, it carries that weight, and you know, in comparison. To, but I, the one I think that might long term might dethrone it could be the 2018 film mm. um in the long run. I right. you know what I mean. I don't know because it's what follows the 2018 film but then again right. what follows h2o yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> no it's true and, and i've yeah. i've never i've never been a fan of h2o so i uh, it was all right i mean i will say i had more of an enjoyable time at this than i did with uh, yeah Curse of michael myers yes, yes i agree with that because at that time we were aware that it was what it was going to be that it was a Correct. retcon it was a direct sequel to you know i mean the internet was still in its infancy at that time there was no right. social you media kind of, right there was no hidden surprises we knew no but you found out doing. on like entertainment tonight you know what i mean right. and right. um uh but i i've i've said i've been very consistent i've said it since i was in high school when this came out in 98 i was just graduating i should have graduated in 97 but i failed grade four anyway uh so i had to graduate in 98 but i was 19 when this movie came out and um uh and 
you know, again, I, I, I saw it three times in the movie theater, and I know what you might be thinking. People out there, well, if you hated it, why'd you see it three times? Well, I got to see it at least once, right? So that doesn't count. Uh, the other two times was at that time, that summer, the summer of 98, I worked at a movie theater. So I got to see movies for free. And then the second time I saw it was with my friend Brian, who wanted to see it, and I could get free tickets. So we went and saw it. And then the third time was my, I was waiting for my dad to pick me up. And I, and I was like, what am I going to do? He's not going to be here for a few hours. So I just went and saw Halloween H2O. Uh, so that's, that's, that's why. And I, I didn't hate the movie or anything like that. I still don't hate it. I mean, I don't hate the movie, but no, I, I, I just, just think there were some, there were some creative choices that they could have, you know, obviously the mask, I think they should have, because there is a shot with Michael, uh, in the H six mask, you know, one, I mean, there's like five different oh, yeah, the masks mask in this movie debacle in this, but film is if legendary. they had stuck with the H six mask, I think the mask debacle would have at least been, you know, yeah. you wouldn't have had it. Cause it actually looked really good, uh, in, in this film, uh, blatantly ripping off scream soundtrack. I never understood yeah. that. Like, why didn't you just stick to your, the Halloween theme, you know, and the shape stocks. Like I, you know, a, a long time ago, maybe it might've been on my YouTube channel. I think I did it where I took the shape stocks and I dubbed it over the stocking scene in H2O and like just how much of a difference it changes the, sh the scene around. Or maybe that might've been on Instagram when I had Instagram, whatever it was. Right. I just, just so people can see what I was talking about. Cause I think we, we had done an H2O watch or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The, the soundtrack never made any sense to me. Cause it's like, this is fucking scream. Like, right. why are they, why are they, I don't get that. Whatever it is. It is what it is. Um, the actors are good. Like I like Josh Hartnett, you know, Michelle Williams, um, Jody Lynn O'Keefe, um, um, the problem, uh, Eric Foreman, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, call him Eric Foreman. Cause I don't know the actor's name, but he looks like, <laughs> he looks like Eric Foreman when right. Topher Grace first emerged on, uh, that 70s show. Yeah. 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 Um, I, know, I know who you're talking about. The story is, is good. You know, Lori goes into hiding, you know, you really didn't need to say she faked her death. I know that they were trying to do that because they killed the character off. So they had to make the audience. But we kind of already knew, you know, we knew yeah. that you were not following the timeline of Halloween four by acknowledging her right. death means, well, now you're technically still acknowledging Halloween four exists because she was killed off screen in Halloween four. They didn't have to do that. You can just say she just fucking got she got the fuck out of Dodge. She left Haddonfield and she's like, fuck this. I'm out. You know what I mean? And yeah, that was and that. She, you didn't have to fake her death. It, true. And, uh, you know, with Halloween H2O, obviously it's coming off the heels of, of Scream in 96 and it has a very Scream vibe to it. I mean, Kevin Williamson obviously had a hand in H2O, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he did. He wrote a draft or something, or he was something like that. The chat room, correct right. me if I'm yeah. wrong. Um, or the story, or had something, some sort of thing in there. But the thing with H2O is that I don't think it's very scary. Now, when I let me preface this by saying, you know, I mean, what is scary, right? I just, I'm talking about mood. I'm talking about atmosphere. I'm talking about right. real suspense. I'm talking about tension. It feels like, you see, Scream is fun. And Halloween H2O is fun. And it shouldn't be fun. It's Correct. Halloween. That's one of the main problems with H2O is that it's Hallow Scream. That's what H two O is, and it 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 and 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 obviously you know it's set in California, so it doesn't. I mean, it looks like it looks like Michael Myers walked onto the set of Dawson's Creek, right? And I've often said that too, right? Um, so it's it's just one of those things where where I I I don't think H it's fun. H two O is light. It's fun. It's 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 horror light. It's not scary. And again, you could say, well, what what horror movie is really scary, Dave? Well, I, again, I'm 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 saying it. I'm saying scary. I'm using the word scary. And what I mean by that is, you know, when you watch a scary movie, like, you know, you know, you don't have to be physically scared in your seat for a movie to be scary. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, right. you watch it's, it. Honestly, it's almost like a fun popcorn action type movie that you could watch with your friends. 
It's just and it's a silly. Halloween film. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's just, it's light. There's no atmosphere. There's no, no. fucking atmosphere in that movie. There's no, no, and of course, you know, Michael and the, and the mask and the big hair and the big eyes and the, you know, and, and, and it's just, it's, it's, it's hollow scream. It, That's what that is. movie is. And, and it makes sense. It makes sense. Even if they didn't do it, uh, uh, consciously, I feel there at, at the very least there is an, a, a subconscious, you know, or and or maybe it was geared a little more lighter because of of, of the success of Scream. But it's it, it tonally, it's just it's 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 lighter, it's it's fluffier and lighter. And I'm like, that nah, this isn't nah. And so I never watch it. I well, never you, watch you, Halloween H two. You don't you don't you don't find the the the, the, the scene scary. Her round melon breasts. Yeah, see, no, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> see, that's the point I'm talking about. Don Wilk uh, 91 says, none of them are scary after four, in my opinion. I'm not talking about actually being scared, Don. I'm not talking about, oh my God. Oh, I'm talking about a mood, a tone, a seriousness, a gravitas. That's what I'm talking about, right? When you watch, listen, I'm not the, I'm not a fan of Rob Zombie's Halloween, but it's light years, way more serious and darker and scarier than H2O is. Oh, hands right? down. So is hands Rob down. Zombie's Halloween too. I don't yeah. like Rob Zombie's, you know, uh, too, with the white horse and this and that, and the, you know, the, uh, you know, hobo. But it's it's Michael. it's it's got a darker but tone. Totally, much darker tone. it's on yeah. point. Like tonally, it's dark. It's eerie. There's atmosphere. There's mood. It 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 plays it serious. Halloween H two O is Scream. It, it, it it's it's Hallow Scream. It's I mean in in Scream like you watch Scream. Scream is not a scary movie. It's never a, intended to be. It it, it was never intended it's to be. It's almost like I've I've often said to people with Scream. Um, I felt what Wes was doing. It's a love letter to the genre that 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 we had just come out of the the slasher genre. Yeah. I felt like that was Wes Craven giving us that like that love letter to like. And why do you think everything is referenced in that movie? Right. You know. Right. Um, so. Yeah. It's 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 all about a tone. Again, it's it's Freddy's Dead or Elm Street Two. Right. Like, you know, right. Fr Freddy's dead is fluffy and light and silly and goofy. And there's no atmosphere. There's no tension. There's nothing scary about that movie. Mm. So when I say scary, I don't mean that you have to literally be scared going, oh, this is scary. I'm not talking. I'm just talking about the tone of the film. There's an atmosphere. There's a setting. There's a there's a seriousness to it. You know what I mean? I mean, very rarely are any of us actually scared watching a movie but you there's know sometimes there's but, sometimes a scene that i'm watching it can get me you well, know it, like it not can. like not a jump scare but like damn that was good of you course know? it can but you know when you're watching a scary movie that's right. the point i'm making is that you know when you're watching a movie that is a scary movie right, right. you know what i mean and 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 halloween h2o has none of that there's none of that that's true. Anyway. Well, like with the um the announcement of it's follow it follows sequel, they follow. Um, mm -hmm. you know, so I went back and rewatched that. Um, there's some moments in it follows that I'm like, it's still like I'm like, man, this is this is intense. Cause I wanted to see like where could they possibly go. There's obviously a few ways that they could go with 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 the sequel. Um, but that was one of as far as modern horror movies goes, that's one of my favorites. Uh next yeah. to the conjuring, it follow, uh, it follows um and just the suspense he does in that film is it, it, um uh, what's the director's name um, i forget but i know what I you're talking about fuck I'm fucking drawing blanks tonight man that's what she said <laughs> um he did a great job at building great suspense and it follows the scariness of it follows is not like what you, it, it's not like what you're talking about. Like, you know, like, no, but it know, follows oh is a scary it gets under your, movie. It gets under your skin. Like yes. you're like, mm, this is fucking intense. Like yeah. fuck, yeah. you know, like yeah. it's a good, that's yeah. what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Compare the tone, even Halloween 18 or kills. Like, like, I mean, again, I'm not a fan of kills, but, th but, but the tone of the tone, right? Like, you, right. you know what I'm saying? It, it's not, I mean, there's well, maybe that's not the best example because there are issues with the structure and pacing of that movie. But uh, anyway, anyway, we'll move on. But I, hopefully right, people get it. what I'm trying to say. All right. Halloween Resurrection. Here we go in no, five. H2O. We, we haven't even watched H2O. Oh, fuck yet. H2O. So we don't need to talk about it afterwards. We'll, we'll watch it. We'll go. You want to go right into Resurrection? We'll just go right into Resurrection. Here we go. Let's do five, that. four, right. three, two, one, and go. Jesus. I forgot. Ding. 
I forgot we'd already done this. That's how crazy it is. Oh, there's there's Robin. Yep. That's right. You know what I actually just watched with him in it that's really good? Uh, it's based on the guy who did the tightrope walk, the Twin Towers. Oh, um, The Wire. The walk. Or, or, or The Walk. Or the, the Walk. The Walk, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah. He's a good actor, Joseph whatever. Joseph Gordon, Gordon Lovett. Lovett. Yeah, he is. He is yeah. a very good actor. There's Josh Hartnett. And Josh Hartnett's been kind of resurfacing here again, too. A I'm bit. glad to see that. Yeah, yeah, he has. He's been resurfacing, ladies and gentlemen. Good old I, I Josh always, Hartnett. I always liked him as an actor. Yeah, Never yeah. disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, I like even him. though Pearl Pearl Harbor has its you know debate. He you know he's solid in that. He's solid in this. He's solid in faculty. You know what um, Josh Hartnett movie um, that I really like that doesn't get talked about enough that is from I think it's from two thousand and five. I think. See, this trailer isn't that bad. Do you know what Josh Hartnett movie I like that doesn't get what? talked about a lot? It's from two thousand four called Wicker Park. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Wicker Park. See, why didn't they put this theme in, in the movie? I don't uh, get it. Who knows? Not that it would have helped, but, no. you know. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, of the stance or anything like that. So many different masks. Yeah. I remember, do you remember a very early trailer where they actually still had that other mask uh, peek through the round hole there? I remember that. Yeah, it's a solid trailer. It's fine. As far as trailers go, you would never know that it 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 uh, um ends up being a little hollow screamy. Yeah, Michael King says that's not the OG Halloween trailer, guys. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. It's there's a there's a no. You're right. I think there's a uh, Creed is in is is the is, so anyways. We'll yeah. just go right into yeah. Resurrection and we'll yeah. we'll yeah yeah. This is Dave's favorite. Oh, I fucking love it. Trick or treat, motherfucker. Trick or treat, motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. Oh, man. I took my mother to see this movie. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I fucking hated this movie. I hate this. This is crap. This is crap. Yep. I remember I was. Uh, I always forget that she's in this movie. Um, the blonde. Um, Katie Sackhoff. That's in Mandalorian. And she's also in uh, Longmire. Katie loved her in long run. Kate Kate Sackanoff or something like that. Katie Sackoff. Yeah. Yeah. I always forget she's in this. Yeah. Sorry, Kate. You you got into the wrong Halloween, but your career has done just fine since. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Good old Halloween Rezor Erection. Dave loves this movie. I love this movie. It's my favorite movie. <laughs> Michael's here. Michael's here. Oh my God, the screams in this suck. You know what I can't understand? How does the the guy- Well, this is my favorite part of the movie. I will say that. Guess... When he kills Jane Laurie. Yeah, that's true. Trick or treat. Oh, there's oh, your the line, fuck? Dave. It was it. <laughs> Halloween resurrection. There right, it is. It fades to black. Okay. All right. Good. All right. All right. Um, yeah, you're right about uh, H2O. That is not the- Because th I'm, I'm almost 100% positive- creed song is in the trailer to h2o well, and i'm i'm pretty sure that that there is there's either a, a trailer or a, a spot uh when laurie closes the door that little round you know um window when michael and michael's through, mask is different it's it's the original mask yeah. that they they use that they had to replace and you know uh with the stan that they replaced with the Stan Winston mask. Well, what's that mask yeah. called? The R, B, and K well, mask, or whatever it's called. I don't know. Fucking know. But anyway, yeah, no, I, I, I do remember that, and um, yeah. But I think this anyway. is the resurrection trailer. Oh yes, yes it is. Yeah, yeah. no, it is. So. It is. All right, well, let's go on to Halloween. Uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> We're not staying here. Right, very here we long. go. Thank you. And five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. I remember this trailer. Now, the voiceover you hear in this trailer is the voice actor by the name of Ashton Smith. I can't hear you over it, okay. but that's all right. Well, it's loud. The viewers know what I'm talking or can hear me. It's, a, it's you know, for Rob Zombie, it's a good, it's a good trailer. Mm -hmm. Yep. Listen, I'm not a big fan of this movie because it's not a direction that I would have gone in. But I will say that... 
I, you know, you have to give credit where credit is due. And although he followed a similar, I still can't hear you. Over I know it. that's okay. I'm I, I just talking to the viewers. Um, although he followed a similar trajectory in terms of sort of the story, um, he did reimagine it. Again, I'm not a fan of the white trailer trash and fucking crawl over there and skull fuck the shit out of you, bitch, and all that, and the backstory and the demystifying of Michael. I would never have done any of that. But you have to give credit where credit is due. It is not the same movie over again. It is a reinterpretation of it. Um, So, you know, kudos for that. Yeah, like this has a much darker, grittier... I'm going to make a bold statement, yeah. actually, as soon as this trailer is done. Here we go. Oh, is it, I think I already know what the, the statement Because I did gonna... watch this about mid-month. Okay. Uh, Mid-October. Okay. All right. Yeah. Evil. Evil. Never dies. No, has destiny. destiny. Evil <laughs> has a destiny. Well, at least I can take that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Halloween. Yeah, it looks like, uh, you know, intense movie. And that's, uh, I think Tyler Maine is the, the guy who did the soundtrack, right? Oh, I mean, Ty- uh, no, no, Something no. Like that. Tyler Maine's the guy who played Michael. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I'm sorry. That's yeah. what I meant. Tyler. Okay. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to make a bold statement. Okay. I, I am. I'm going to make a massive bold statement. Make a massive shit. Go ahead. Massive bold statement on this. Rob Zombie's first Halloween, not the sequel, the first Halloween could end up being the Friday the 13th part six or nightmare on Elm street, the, like a fan favorite, because I will say this, it is better than H2O. Oh, I will, it's way better I, than H2O. I yeah, will, yeah, yeah. well, I, mean, I will in terms of tone. This, yes. Tone. I will watch this before five. I will watch this before six. I will watch this before H2O resurrection. His sequel. I know I won't, I won't watch a sequel other than the fact that I do like the hospital sequence, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I will watch this before the 18 film kills and ends. Right. I, I, I you, Tyler Bates. Thank you. Um, did the Bates, music. Yeah. I was close on the name. Um, it just, you know, I, I get what you're saying as far as the, um, white trailer trash, but he took a ballsy risk to reimagine something, to do something different. You know, when people complain about, Oh, let's do something different. Let's do something different. We have to take it into consideration of who we're dealing with too. Rob Zombie. You know, what is Rob Zombie? If you know his music, I love it. Love his music is one of my favorite, you know, musicians of all time. Um, Even before he went solo and when when he was with White Zombie, um, you also know what you're going to get with his movies. It's it's that white trailer trash tone. That's a ballsy risk to take with Halloween. He did reimagine it. He did make it his own. He put his own stamp on it. And there is something fun and entertaining to his first film that's dark and that I don't mind putting on in the month of October. Um, I I can't get that same vibe with H2O or resurrection or, you know, no H2O is, is, is the least Halloween movie in terms of tone and feel uh, out of them all. Uh, even resurrection has has you know is I mean you know again it's it's a sliding it's not that, it's marginal, uh, yeah. But yeah. But no, I agree with you. I look. I, I again as as we were saying while we were watching the trailer, I'm I'm not a fan of the movie because it's not a direction I would have gone in. Um, but you get I have to give credit where credit is due, and he did reimagine and did he did it his way, and there's something to be yeah. said for that. Uh, now, and I we, think because of that, I think you know in years to come. Um, there's going to be now old, old G people who have been a fan of the franchise for many years. Um, you know, obviously they're going to, you know, stick to more of the, like, you know, like the ones through four, or even some will even say five and six, you know, I, I know that, but a lot of people, like I'm talking the average Joe. Okay. Like yeah. my friends on Facebook who are sharing what Halloween film they're watching this month, the majority of them, Rob Zombie's Halloween. The majority of them. And now these are, av- I'm not talking about the people who followed me through, through doing the show. I'm talking right. about my friends, average people, you know, that are not part of the horror community that are not hardcore fans. They they are watching Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yeah. They're not watching the other ones right. because it fits. It's more of a modern tone. Yeah. Um, it has a modern look to it. Um, they rather watch that than over the uh, original 78. And I don't discredit them. I don't sit no, there and leave it's a comment like on their post, like you're fucking crazy. What are you doing? Like, it's just what, you know, no, it's the I one they want to watch. Yeah. No, I agree with you. 
I agree with now, you. Now, the Halloween fan base, it might be a different argument. They yeah. may not gravitate to the Rob Zombie film for all the, the reasons that would be very justifiable. Yeah. The average Joe, the average person who's not a hardcore horror nut, that's the one they're picking. It's true. All right. All right on to Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. All right, right? Five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right. <clears throat> I will say this: the opening to this movie is fucking. It's the opening to this my, movie. It's too it's bad. My favorite. It's in the whole, whole fucking franchise. It's, it's too, so goddamn good. The hospital. It's too bad it was a dream sequence. I know, Rob. You should have just stuck with it, man. Just so disappointing because it was it was visceral. <sighs> it was intense. It was very visceral and intense. Like holy crap, Michael Myers in the opening se- scenes of this movie. Kills an Academy Award winning actress. <laughs> okay. Like, well, before she was an Academy Award winning actress. Know, but yes, but. yes, that is true. But again, you know, you look but, at, again, give credit where credit is due, right? You look at the tone and the feel and the, and the grit, uh, you know, of the film. That's what I'm talking about. H2O has none of this. H2O is, 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 is Scream. H2O is Scream. That's what H2O is. Yeah. And I'm not knocking Scream. I'm just saying it made sense for Scream because, of, because it's a deconstruction, uh, you know, spoof ish kind of self-aware horror movie. It makes sense for Scream. Yeah. Halloween's not, is, is none of those things. So no, the tone should have been nothing like that. Honestly, yeah, I know he never wanted to do one. He should have just left it alone after his first one. Yeah, he should have. He should have. But money, 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 money. But the hell, you know, oh, I'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah. Isn't, is, is, uh, is Carrie Fisher in this movie? Is she? The, no, no, no. Uh, Margot no, Kidder. M- Margot Kidder. Margot Kidder. That's it. Margot Kidder. Yeah, that's right. Carrie Fisher. Yeah, I knew, yeah. Margot Kidder. That's right. Yeah, she's the psychiatrist, isn't she, or something? The therapist. And that's a, <laughs> this is an intense scene. <laughs> it when is he kills too bad. Octavia oh. Spencer, holy shit! <laughs> it's too bad. It's too bad. It's probably the, my, my favorite thing that Rob Zombie has ever done is just that that sequence. Yeah. It's intense. It's visceral. It's intense. You know, and the the thunder and the lightning and everything. Like, fuck, it's too bad, man. It's too bad the, you know, went where it went. But it is what it is. August 28th. Yeah, release that sucker in the summer, baby. All right. All right. Pause All right. Um... Yeah, you know, listening to him talk in interviews recently here, well, he did uh, Howie Mandel's. I caught that with him mm. on there and listened to him talk about it. And he pre- pretty much said the same thing on Joe Rogan's podcast. Um, it was hell for him making this movie. Yeah, A lot of studio heads uh, interfered, um, changed a lot of things that he originally wanted to do. I would have loved it to just like, you know, in his first film, especially, um, not so much the second one, um, if the studios didn't, you know, butt in and, and you know, I would have loved to have seen what would he have, how, what was he really going to do? Right. Um, you know, before the changes he had to make and, you know, whatever, um, especially in the second one as well, too. Right. Um, just sounds like it was just a very nightmare, frustrating, uh, it wasn't a fun time to make the movie for him. Yeah. Um, look, and I get it. I, I, you know, I agree with what you're saying wholeheartedly. If he had just if he had stayed within that the, the the hospital sequence, kept it there all night, the the rain and everything like that, that type of mood and atmosphere, probably would have been better than his first film, and arguably could have been one of the best Halloween movies of all time. Could've if he make- if he stayed on par to that tone of what he was doing in the hospital, and ooh. and you know and you know how you could have brought the budget. Although anytime you introduce water, obviously your budget goes up, but uh, you could have like just thinking about this on the spot, you could have turned that dream sequence, like you said, into it's actually happening. And maybe it's just a cat and mouse game between Michael and Lori, and they're the only two people in the movie. I mean, you know, not the only two people. Obviously, you'd cut away to maybe, you know, you know Sheriff different, Bracken. Or different and, people, you know, at, whatever. you know, in different areas of the hospital, yeah, you know, that yeah. Michael runs into trying to get to. Right, you right. Know, but yeah. but I would keep it limited, like in the original two. But you see, in, in the original two, like I'm talking about actually making it 
you have the thunder, you have the lightning, you just carry yeah. on. And, and, it, and, and it's her try, it's her running. It's just like, it's like, it's a tight, maybe make the movie like a tight 85 minutes, you know, 88 minutes, something like that. Like yep. Halloween four, I think was like 88 minutes or something. Make it like a tight 88 minutes, 85 minutes. Um, and it's just this sequence of Lori trying to escape Michael at the hospital during a rainstorm on Halloween. And, uh, you just do that, get, get rid of the, it, don't fast forward anywhere. Just keep it very simple. That might have been interesting. That might have been interesting. Might have, I mean, but yeah. it is what it is. And look, I'm not saying, you know, for those, who, you know, who don't like Rob Zombie's Halloween's, I get it. Mm. Um, I'm just saying for me personally, if I'm going beyond four, you know, if I'm going beyond the first four films, the only one that I'm going to is Rob Zombie's. You know, I mean, I just I, I can't sit through five. I can't sit through six or right. H2O or resurrection. And right now I just have a bad taste in my mouth for the, for, for the recent David Gordon green trilogy that yeah. I just, I have no desire to watch any of them. Well, uh, I've always, that's a good I've, segue. Yeah. Right. You know, but I've always, I've always spoke very positively about his first Halloween Rob zombies. I've never, mm. I've never trashed it. I've, I've, it's uh, one that I always will. And I watched it, you know, about mid October this month. It's one mm. that I will, throw on pretty consistently as its own, you know, movie. I'm, I ain't going to fucking yeah. his sequel, but you know, All so right. yeah, that's well, a good segue into, into well, fucking, here we go. Halloween yeah. 2018. Do you remember the hype? The Dude, excitement? We did a live reaction to this. I did one and you and I did one, I think. Yes. Right. Yes. We did. Did we? We did a live. We did when I was doing uh, oh, YouTube. We, we, yes. Cause we hadn't, we hadn't started two dudes yet. No, we hadn't. This was beginning the birth of it. I knew I was kind of drifting out. I was yes. going to get into doing the, I was going to oh start my. doing the horror photography I and getting that. more into that. I had talked, remember I talked with you before that. I was like, Hey, what do you think about doing this? Cause I'm going to start doing more focused on pictures and, and yeah, yeah. things like that. And this was, this was beginning my segue out. And yeah, we did a live uh, reaction to this bad boy. I remember that you're absolutely right. Yeah. You, you were, yeah. For, for for those of you that don't know, Tony had his own YouTube channel where he talked about Halloween and horror uh, like five or six years ago. And that's how we met and we connected that way. And and uh, we didn't start Two Dudes and Some Bullshit, I think, until like the fall of 2018, in and around when the right. movie came out. Right right around when the movie, right. we, that's when we were kind of timing the, the launch of the show. Right. And when the trailer came out in June of 2018, uh, we didn't have a podcast yet, you know, or a show. And so, but you had a channel and I think I went on your channel to to watch it didn't i i think did. it was on your you channel did. that's right yeah Fuck, i remember that yeah. holy shit all right well let's do this five well, this, here we go we're reacting to it again here we go <laughs> five four three two one and go all right ah oh, there it is yep i remember this yeah. here we go this was a good trailer you know I mean, I don't know if it met my expectations of how excited I was. I think I was a little let down, but it's a good trailer. It's fine. Ah, the chessboard. They're all pawns. I remember you did a video on that. I did. Chessboard. Oh, yeah, the, the symbolism, symbolism of this of is, is fantastic. Mm -hmm. They're all chess pieces. They're all, you know, they're all pawns. Michael's probably the king, right? I mean, it works. Such, I mean, again, it's, yeah. Yeah, I remember watching this at the world premiere in Toronto, at the Toronto International right, Film Festival. Did. I have a whole video on my channel for those of you, if you want to check it out. Just type in uh, Dave McRae Halloween world premiere and it'll pop up. It's about a 20 minute long video. Myself and Bruce, uh, we were able to get tickets to go and see it. It was a great show. It's a whole video where we start in the morning. Not and, that line. That's not her brother. That's something people made up. Why? Why the fuck did you need that line in the movie? Yeah, well, that's that's for those who are confused, you're right? Dumbing, you're, dumbing, you're, you're dumbing your audience down like they're not supposed to understand it. <laughs> well, and what I don't understand is that he wasn't... The, it doesn't make any sense to... Ha I, I, I understand why they put that in there. I do. Um, but Halloween 2, which is where the brother-sister arc was introduced, is not canon in this timeline. Right, line. Halloween 2 doesn't exist, so, <laughs> so there's no need to mention it's it. It's a completely met, it's it's way out of left field. It's like breaking the fourth right, wall. Right, because by by acknowledging it, you're almost acknowledging Halloween 2 exists. Yeah, almost. Sort of. No, that's purely so 
general movie going audience. I remember the debate for so understand. long. People were debating was that Nick Castle putting the mask on for the first time? Yeah. Oh, we all before did. Before the movie came out. We like, all did. Yeah. Everyone was debating that. 100%. There's a shot here. Now that uh, that shot th that's Nick Castle right that's in the window. Nick, that's right. and that's the that's and it. that's it. That's it. That's the that's only it. one shot. and done, baby. <laughs> He's on screen as the shape for about four seconds. But yeah, we were like talking, like, is that Nick? Is that Nick? Whatever, because you know, I mean, it was exciting. It was exciting. It was. Yeah, brought a lot of excitement back to the. This franchise, should not sure. have been in the trailer. Too bad this nope. was in the trailer. Oh, that's too bad. Basically told me that she was going to die. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh yeah, too bad. And that's a character. Talk about a waste of a character, man. Ugh. Have you seen right. the movie? Uh, I pause it. H have you seen the movie she's in called Fall? That one, no, one no. where those Is two girls. Oh, it's really good. Dude, watch. It's about these two girls that climb this gigantic like TV antenna kind of thing that's like out of commission and let's just say that it's 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 pretty suspenseful and shit goes down and she's one of the girls that it, it's two girls it's her yeah. and her friend it's called fall uh rent it watch it you'll thank me for it i just read today that they're doing two sequels i don't know why well obviously because it did very well but where is it's called fall like fall. I'm falling yeah okay. fall it's called fall and i believe the poster is like uh it's like from the perspective from above you'll see like is this. it on like a streaming service uh let me just see uh i watched it on netflix a while ago but i don't think it's on there anymore a uh, fall movie streaming it's from last year where would it be streaming you could probably get it on prime you could probably watch it on prime okay you might have to rent it i'm not sure but uh oh and it still might be on netflix it might be there i'm not sure but yeah um it's good All right. i really enjoyed it and i think you will too um, and she's one of the girls in it anything we want to add to this i mean yeah i mean you know it's it it was the it, it was highly anticipated you know it was we had been talking about it you know and and uh like i've said to many people i've had my channel since 2006 i was one of the ogs to get a channel but i never did anything with it until about two i mean i did little things with it but nothing major like this until about 2017 and uh, it was for the purposes of talking about halloween and this this highly anticipated movie and it was it was a lot of fun man i mean it was you know me yeah we other, did have a lot of fun talking about for sure. it and, well it's and, how i met and, you and and yeah. frank and darren and 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 cody and lee and you know the wham guys and 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 barry and jimmy i mean you know we all we all met that way right because yeah. of our love of halloween and and uh so it was very exciting time and and uh you know i, I wish i maybe had enjoyed the movie a bit more but but in retrospect i do think it's the best one in the trilogy i will say yeah. that yeah i will say that okay let's go to uh Halloween kills. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Ah, yes. <sighs> it's a great shot of the house on fire. Picking up exactly. Let it burn. No, 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 no. Oh, this might be, is this the trailer? Is this a TV spot? I can't remember. Let it burn. No, I will Lost say this. Yeah. Michael killing the fireman, probably one of the best kill sequences in all of the Halloween franchise. Listen, dude. Fuck it, it's so badass when he walks out of the house with the, uh, what is it, the it halogen is. in his hand? Halogen. Yeah, this. Halogen. Oh. Yeah, yeah. oh, it's great. It's fantastic. It's so fucking it's an good. Awesome, it's, it's a badass shot. It's badass. It, it is. is. That it looks is. CG it's for like, some reason, but yeah, it's badass. Yeah, it's fucking, like, I will say this. The kills in the Halloween kills are fucking some of the best kills Listen. of all the Halloween movies. I will say this. I have never, ever, out of all the issues I have with the David Gordon Green Halloween movies, there are two things I do not have an There are three things I do not have an issue with. And that is uh, James Jude Courtney as Michael. I thought he was a terrific yeah. shape. The mask, I thought Christopher Nelson and his team did a, an amazing job. We finally had a mask we could all cheer for. And the yep. music by John Carpenter and his son and his godson. Uh, yep. no issues there. Those three things were fire in every, in every film, in every film. Um, Oh God, evil dies tonight. Oh, evil, <laughs> uh, the, the amount of time. Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. Evil dies oh, tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was, listen, it's a, it's a meme now, right? I mean, it's a, I remember when I Photoshopped, I, I, I took a, um, uh, an image of the back of the Blu-ray of Halloween kills and I Photoshopped evil, the, 
on the back, I think it does say evil dies tonight. And I photoshopped it saying it like 10 more times. And I shared on social media and people thought it was real. Like they didn't actually do that for the, the four kids. They put that on the back for like 10 times. And I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. No, they didn't. Kyle Richards. And the shade, and, and I liked the progression of the mask in this film with like the burns and all that. And I, I liked it. I thought it was really good good trailer i mean you know it's a typical modern universal trailer where they show everything you know that's the way it goes it's fine disappointed that uh tommy but it's a dis it's a disappointing movie overall for me uh, and oh there we go stop oh shit stop. yeah went right into ends. yeah well i i'm paused right at the sewer oh i'm oh, paused I'm at the pumpkin Oh, shit. Um, let it, it go sewer? for a second. Okay, yeah, sec. let it go, because I'm not going to be able to rewind no it. No problem. Hang on one sec. Hang on. Oh, where are we here? Man, it didn't even give us a fade to black and went right into the fucking... Halloween okay, I'm trailer. paused at the sewer. All right. All right. Um, yeah, you know, look, with Halloween Kills, obviously the flashback sequence are fucking badass. It's just, that's uh, as close as you and I will ever get to experience Halloween 1978 for the first time because yeah. you know obviously we'll we'll never get to experience that no. but it and i and i've said it before i've said it again i you know it would almost i would love to have them to do have done a whole movie like a halloween 1.5 you know everything that's transitioning from the 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 shooting off the balcony leading michael up to the hospital the yeah. ending shot is michael standing right in front of you know haddonfield memorial hospital that's it Obviously, you know what goes on, you know, because it's that's Halloween too. That's it. Um, because they did that so well. Like I wanted them to stay there like longer and give me more of that. Um, the kills in Halloween Kills, you know, it lived up to the name. I mean, it's some of the best kills in the it whole did. franchise. You know, it's funny. I, I thought I thought there were going to be more. Funny enough, um, but certainly in terms of a Halloween movie, yeah. Yeah, for yeah, sure. you know, um, but just yeah, it, well, the whole evil dies tonight. The, uh, the shit that goes on at the hospital, um, yeah, you it's know, crazy there's a couple of great, couple of great moments when Michael's stalking Lindsay there. When uh, well, that's a great, great scene, yeah, great scene, great creative decision of almost going completely ambient sound, except yeah. you hear Michael's breathing. Yeah, that's really um, nice. Obviously, really nice. that's a, a post thing, but yeah. I mean, well, you know what? It's got a pay, it's got pacing and, and story structure issues and 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 dialogue issues and 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 just it doesn't really have a purpose. I I don't yeah. feel like you you could literally go from eighteen to ends and and it would still make sense. Like I like yeah. kills doesn't. I mean, obviously, you know, Karen and and her death and I get all that, but I I yeah, it feels it feels a little too much like filler and not enough, you know purpose you know in a lot of ways nope. anyway i have videos on my channel where i talk at, at at length about it but let's go to the last one here halloween ends ladies the greatest and greatest halloween ever halloween <laughs> ends. where the main character gets like five minutes of screen time in like two kills <laughs> here we go five four three two one and go fucking main character is benched in his own movie <laughs> i know there he is Corey cunningham you know what though yeah. hey shout out to uh rowan campbell i mean you know he's an actor doing a job doing his thing and he and he did a good job like i've said i actually like the Corey cunningham story i don't like halloween I just ends would have overall liked it in a different movie that's just it i think the and i've said this before i'll say it again it's ironic I thought this was actually a pretty good movie, ironically, until Michael showed up, which is a, <laughs> right. Which, Michael fucked up his own movie. Well, yeah, because because <laughs> the Corey Cunningham story is compelling. It's interesting, but it should have been its own thing and maybe a series or its own movie or or, yeah. or, or something. Um, this is not not here. Oh God, are they going to show him hulking up <laughs> in this fucking? No, trailer? I don't think I don't think they show him having an orgasm. Not. I don't think they show him having an orgasm. Um, but. You know, but yeah. Halloween ends. Remember when this trailer came out, everyone was like, okay. And this yeah, is okay. actually legitimately, this girl is the only, technically Michael only gets one kill because Corey helped Michael with the kill in the sewer. That's so true. this girl was the only one that Michael kills in the whole, mm. well, and no, because Corey was basically dead by the time Michael snaps his yeah, neck. Yeah, and Corey killed the people at the at the junkyard, right? Or the car, the 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 car place or the the junk or whatever it was. I can't remember what it was now. And Corey killed the radio DJ. That wasn't Michael. 
Um, that's Corey there. Oh yeah, Sheriff Barker! Woo! Most useless character ever. Oh, Sheriff Barker is amazing. Now I will. I well, I'll say this in a moment. Yeah, we're almost done here. Here we yeah, go. Thank God. Here we go. Oh no, no, no! Yes, take it off. Woo! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there it is. Those are all the Halloween trailers Oy. for every now, Halloween I will say this. movie, ladies and gentlemen. When and there we Corey, go. When Corey became Michael, because of his physique, yeah, that was the closest we've ever got to what Michael actually was intended to look like with Nick Castle. You know, because they're about the same height and the same physique you know so yeah, yeah. and the movement the movement who uh, now from my understanding at a panel here um um there's another guy who played michael in ends um in some of the stunt cory stunt double yeah or body double whatever that makes sense yeah um and um but the movement of cory playing michael when he was in the mask and everything very Nick Castle like, you know, and I've I've said this many times that I've I've always wished that they they stuck with that uh, physique that they didn't go right. to the big like you know like with Jason and everything like that they right. should have kept Michael the way he was intended because it makes it more scary it makes it more menacing that a guy who isn't really that big has got this supernatural like strength right um but um yeah unfortunately like you said dude michael myers the 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 the, the star of the franchise ruins his own movie <laughs> yeah it's look i mean it really it, 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 it it has its fans halloween ends has its fans and 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 that's great and all power to them and and i don't think it's the worst in the in, in the franchise i enjoy it more than resurrection i enjoy it more than h2o i enjoy it more than halloween 5 um yeah. be, because there is a story there that actually is Pretty interesting, um, but you don't need like that. Like you know, this idea that that um, uh, you know you needed Corey there to or Michael there. You didn't need Michael to tell the Corey Cunningham story. Now, obviously, the story they've specifically written, you do because the story they've specifically written is about Michael in a sewer and Corey goes and he has a me. I get all that, but in terms of the crux of the social commentary and you know the symbolism and about this this town that is trying to move on and about this kid who uh, oh was my babysitting. god you two cut the string oh did they oh no oh yeah, no you two cut the stream oh that's too bad right at the very end right at the very end damn uh right at the and very end we had end. no fucking audio no we had no audio i think no we're audio. back i think we're back we're back we might be back are we back we're back. It's back. Yeah, everybody. Okay, everybody's saying we're it's back. back. Okay, back. so I don't, guys. Where did we get cut off at? Do you do you know? Was it cut off during the end trailer? Which it, is so weird because you didn't play any fucking audio, so it's not like there could be copyright. No, but but what but what it 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 it. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, technically, technically, um, uh, I mean, technically, you know, it's 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 it's. Universal where did is, it cut? Do you know where it cut? I don't know where it cut. The oh, end trailer. The end, Halloween yeah, Ends trailer. Okay, yeah, yeah. so. And that's not surprising. Universal is is notorious for that. Even people who are trying to do uh, reaction videos or, uh, 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 you know. God, Universal just don't critiques. want you doing shit. Well, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really about uh, critiques and, and like there's a lot of people that, are, like I'm not a movie reviewer, so I never upload reaction videos or, or, or show clips of movies in my reviews or whatever. But if you follow other channels, you've often probably heard them say, geez, I've had to re-upload this like eight times because I'm just showing a clip from the movie that I'm talking about. And it should be, you know, creative license. I, like I should be able to do this because it's news and I'm doing all this. Technically what we're doing here, I'm not surprised that, that, that we were hit at the very end. I'm not surprised it took this long either because these are recent trailers, uh, probably more prominent in the, in the algorithms that, 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 that they would be picked up. 
Um, the older stuff, they don't give a fuck about. The new stuff, they do. And so, not surprised. Not surprised there. So, uh, I've already... <laughs> Reese, that's you know, funny. YouTube's YouTube's acting like Doctor. Uh, uh, what's uh, Tom Atkins in Halloween Three? Stop it! Stop, stop it, it! Stop it! it stop it! Well, here's Halloween the thing. ends. Fucking sucks. <laughs> Sorry, but because, here's the thing, though, is oh. is that is that um, uh, two dudes and some bull We don't make money off of this show. None. We're and, not even. Yeah, that's right. You're not even monetizing this thing. No, and and <laughs> and the reason though, all of our shows, and this is true, folks. This is this is 100 true. Every single, I'm not, this is not hyperbole. Every single episode of Two Dudes and Some Bullshit, every single one, uh, this might not make sense to you, to people who don't have a YouTube channel, but if you do, you'll, you'll, you know what I'm talking about. Every single episode of Two Dudes and Bullshit, every single one, uh, once we're done, uh, receives a yellow dollar sign, which means limited, means limited. Uh, and it doesn't matter what we're talking about. It doesn't matter. We don't, we don't show anything. Don't play anything. It will receive a limited ad. Um, it's not a copyright. It just means that, uh, limited ads are, are being, uh, put on your stream. And so our shows don't make anything. Now, why is that? Well, I think it's because of our, of the title of our show. I think it's because we have bullshit in the actual title. It can't be because I, I, you know, will drop an F-bomb here or there or say shit or, you know, Tony no, says I shit or whatever. You, I, I think because if you spelled it at, with, uh, like I've already tried. It, like with a, with an exclamation mark. Yep. I've already tried. I've tried a couple it. ways. It still does it. Wow. And so it's, it's weird. And because on my McRae lives, I can swear and curse or whatever, and they get the green dollar sign. I, you know, I get ad revenue from that, but two dudes, I never do. So we don't make anything from this. I mean, unless of course you're sending in, you know, a super chat or something, which is always appreciated. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not surprised that YouTube dinged us at the end, especially when we got to the modern, more recent trailers. Uh, not surprised at all, but thankfully we made it till the end anyway. But Halloween, yeah. I, while we got cut off, I was saying that Halloween ends is... Uh, the Corey Cunningham story is a good one. Uh, it just didn't need to be in this movie. And you didn't need Michael in this movie. There's some people think that you do. You Not to tell, like... The crux of the story about the social commentary about a town who's struggling to move on and and uh, essentially the irony of it is that there's this town that is struggling to move on and there's this kid, this all-American kid who was going to go to college, handsome young guy, he's babysitting one night, he accidentally kills the, you know, the kid he's babysitting, he, he's put on trial, the town hates him, they think he murdered you know, that young boy, and all the bullying that he's now receiving from the town. And the irony of it is that here is this town that is trying to move on but the irony is that their bullying and their uh, of this kid ironically brings Michael back, and I put Michael in quotes because obviously Corey Cunningham really isn't Michael Myers. But they they ironically birth a new killer when here they're trying to act. Th that story, that story is interesting. That yep. story is cool. You don't need Michael for that story. You don't need Michael at all for that story. Michael will be present. He, his, his, his presence will be there because it is about a town who's trying to move on from Michael. So you could have Jamie Lee Curtis. You could have Andy Matichuk. You can still have, you know, Laurie saying, I see Michael in his eye. You can have all of that. That's the Corey Cunningham story. What the fuck's Michael doing in this movie? I mean, I understand why he's in this movie because you're trying to end a trilogy. I get that. But that's why it's frustrating because you can deliver all that social commentary and the layers and the symbolism and you can deliver all that in a movie without Michael. And so, and I think it would have uh, been a lot stronger. And so that's why I thought, like, I actually don't mind ends. It's just when we get to Michael, I'm like, oh, kind of sucks. That's he's right. <laughs> you know, it kind of oh sucks. God. He's in this movie. Cause I actually was really into the Corey Cunningham. If, if the Corey Cunningham story had been like the beginning of like a anthology series, like TV show, like called like Haddonfield and, the, and it had Jamie Lee Curtis in it. And that, that'd be fucking, that'd be awesome. That, that'd be yeah. really cool. But the end of this story, the end of this trilogy, but some people oh, love agree. it. Some people love it. Anyway, let's take a moment and go over to the uh, chat room just a few moments now and answer some questions. So if you want to send in uh, any super chats or or send in some questions, we'll we'll just take a few moments and answer them and then uh, we'll skedaddle. Hey, I got a great name. We'll, we'll, we'll change the show to uh, Two Dudes and Some Blue Balls. Two dudes and some blue balls. Yeah, two dudes. And, yeah, no, it's it's funny how, yeah, no, we never do. Every time I set up a live stream, and it's it's when I set up 
the live show, it'll already be there. The yellow, uh, the yellow dollar sign. I'm like, ah, oh yeah. It's, but you know what? I'm like, no, the title of the show is two dudes and some bullshit and sorry, YouTube, but I'm not changing it. It's two dudes and bullshit. I'm not changing it. Yeah. I one time tried to change it to, um, yeah, like, uh, S dollar sign, you know, uh, hash sign. Like I tried to change it to something like that. Still did it. I'm like, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. All right. Now, did, did I get all the super chats from earlier is the question. Let me just see here. Uh, Dr. Terry who? Halloween verse Myers is then. Oh, no, I didn't get this one. Um, Dr. H Terry who sends in 999 says Halloween verse Myers is Thanos collects butcher knives from each timeline. Lori Loomis bracket, Paul Rudd pulling double duty as Tommy and Ant-Man from the spooky Avengers to fight him. Um, well, I get everything that you just said. I don't know if Dave is going to get the references that you just said. Well, I know <laughs> I, I understand who all those characters are, but I don't get the references. No, cause I haven't seen those movies. Good reference though. Very thought out. Um, fun. Um, reference but i'm just not a big mcu right uh guy but i've seen the movie so i get the reference right gotcha 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 yeah. gotcha okay uh let me see here um bada ba boom let me scroll see, back some of you guys pop up on my facebook again um it's good to see some familiar faces nice. i haven't seen you guys in a in a while yeah i'm starting to do like like all horror stuff again like just i'm going balls to the walls with it right Good, yeah. good. I can't wait to see it, man. There's two photos that always stand out to me is that the the Halloween one with the sheet, the ghost one, mm -hmm. with the Halloween two pumpkin, and uh, the scream one where, uh, I don't know if it was you or if it was a friend of yours, in the ghost face costume, sitting in the chair, oh, holding that was the my knife buddy. up. Yeah, yeah, Holding yeah, the yeah. knife up. I fucking love yeah. that. Oh, and I also like the one, there's a Scream one because it looks very cinematic. It almost looks like a still frame from a movie, the way you color graded it. Uh, the girl is looking, I think she's on the phone and she's looking back and you can oh, see Oh, that one's face. coming up too. I just did a regrade on did that you? one. It looks so fucking, yeah, this this you new- You can see Ghostface in the reflection of a mirror or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah this yeah. This new, you know, I spent months trying to figure this out so that- because um, we're heading into that time of year where everything's just going to be dead and, and just looks really, you know, so like when I can do a, I can do a landscape picture of Georgia and it still looks like something right out of a fucking horror movie. Right. But the pictures that I've also done, like from the, the characters and things like that can have that same color tone. So everything right. kind of flows on my Facebook and what I'm doing. And then the, the new stuff that I'm starting to, you know, talk with my friends on about doing these new different um, just different ideas that I have in my mind to just go beyond just doing like the character stuff and just kind of creating my own, you know, thought provoking, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, type content. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm re rejuvenated doing it again. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. Uh, let me see here. Um, Jared W says they did nothing with the Allison, uh, character completely useless Waste. or completely wasted. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, look, I mean, you know, there's a lot of things in, in, in the new trilogy that, you know, were disappointing. And there's some good things in there too. There's some good things in there. I like, I mean, listen, they're, they're well-made films, competently made. Um, you know, the music's great. Michael's great. The mask is great. Um, it's just sort of the trajectory of the story and, you know, kind of just, okay. I mean, really, I think maybe they should have just left it. Oh, well, I mean, n n listen, if I was the head of the studio that just, uh, produced the highest grossing slasher in motion picture history, I too would quickly fast track, you know, a sequel. I get it. I get it from a business perspective. Halloween 18 made $254 million at the worldwide box office, the highest grossing slasher in motion picture history still to this day. I mean, it's only been five years, but, um, you know, and so that's a big deal. And so I understand that, but it's too bad because if they had just left it at 18, that would have been a nice little sort of kind of little legacy sort of fun reunion kind of thing and just leave it at that. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. and Michael just burns in the basement or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, before we skedaddle, any, any questions you want to nab or are you, you good or, uh, let me see what do we got. We got, oh, Anthony Michael was in the, uh, Hey, there's Anthony Michael. Um, that's what she says. Says two dudes and some bull caca. 
Yeah, <laughs> bull caca. Welcome to <laughs> episode 194 of Two Dudes and Some Bull Caca. Uh, let's see here. Um, Cody Snyder says, I still say that movie is basically a floating turd waiting to be flushed. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Um, just trying to see if I can grab a non super chat one. Um, oh, yeah, there's no super chats. At the moment, so there. Yeah, uh, no, I was trying to see if I can grab a non-super oh, yeah, one, but yeah. I don't see anybody really asking. No, people um, are just kind of just, you know, it's Halloween shit. night, just kind of shooting the shit and talking. Shooting well, that's shit. all right. That's what the show's all about, just shooting some shit. Sh shooting some shit, taking some, taking some shit. <laughs> that's some... what she said. Two oh, I was just about to read it. What did it say? Two, two oh. dudes and something like adult something or something? I don't or... know. I Fuck. don't know. Why'd you take it away? No, <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, so how's the um, what any update on it's me Billy Deuce are you guys uh, going to be able to that's the first question are you because with the fucking SAG thing man are you guys going to be able to because I know with Olivia Hussey you won't that, we uh, we should have answers I, I can't say anything at the moment uh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes right now okay. um, and I will just say that uh, uh, we should have answers this week that's good. So. That's good. Uh, Hugh sends in $5, says, Saw Exorcist Believer a second time. Pretty sure people just dislike the ending and a fact that it's connected to the 1973 original. Overall, film is fine. Yeah, that's what I've I've, I've heard, Hugh. I, I've heard that it's, uh, you know, I, I mean, obviously it's big shoes to fill and because it is a direct sequel to the original 73 film, which is not just one of the greatest horror movies of all time. It's one of the greatest movies of all time. It's hailed as one of the greatest movies of all time. It was one of the first, I believe the first, horror movie if i'm not mistaken to be nominated for best picture at the academy awards and a slew of others um didn't win but um and so you know it's it's a monumental film and 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 so it had big shoes and it was never going to please i mean it was just you know it is what it is but i have heard some people say that yeah that you know what if you just take it on its own merits it's fine like it's you know yeah. it's it's not it's not it's not the catastrophic dumpster fire that a lot of these channels would like you to think it is but i haven't you seen know it what yet, i want to so. recommend to everybody because i know i said it to you and i'm going to recommend everybody here mm. um if you every any if you guys have netflix go watch the devil on trial this mm. is the accurate story of what we should have gotten with conjuring three um when you watch this story and you see what actually took place it's like, why didn't they just stick to this? There's so much that they could have used from the real story. They didn't need to go into the whole, you know, over the top, you know, sensationalizing, you know, turning it into like a detective like story because that didn't fucking happen. They just stayed with it because there's conflicts that happen in. I don't want to spoil it for people. Because if you don't know the actual true story, like I, you know, because I, I did a lot of research on it. I did a book report on it in school. Um, so as I was watching that movie, I'm like, this didn't happen. This didn't fucking happen. What right, the fuck's right. going on? But when, when the Netflix documentary came out, I'm like, there we go. Mm. It's like 90 minutes long. It's, you know, or maybe even less than that. It might be like in the 80 minute marker. It's called The Devil on Trial. It's the true story. It's on Netflix. And there's there's, in, there's interesting things that happen. I'd love to talk. We, we should do a show on it because there is things that I know Dave and I know your personality. I'm like, Dave would so fucking agree with this. This is right up his fucking <laughs> ass. No, I'm telling you. I'm I believe telling you. you. I believe because you. It's just, it's because of your, sometimes you can be very skeptical on certain things, especially when it comes into this world of possession and, and all that stuff like that, that they bring that up with a certain person that I don't want to spoil it, but if people watch it because I knew that that happened when doing my research on my book report. Right. Um, it was totally like, the dude was totally not even mentioned in the movie. I'm like, how are you going to do it to that dude like that? Like, and, it, and I mean, not just like a throwaway person, someone who's very vital to the story and to the family, right? Totally thrown away. Uh, the, 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 the young kid, uh, David Getzel and, um, part of his family. Okay. Right. In, in the, in the movie. Dude got totally like, and it's, it's like, how do you leave this person out when he was a huge part to this whole story watch it and you'll understand exactly 
um, what I'm talking about. And it would almost be fun to just dive in to talk about that, like the real Yeah, case. I'm totally open to it. I, I'll, you know I'll have I mean? to watch it. I'll have to yeah. watch it, but I'm totally open to it for sure, man. It's done really well. And if they had just done that in the movie. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Cody Snyder, one of our great members, has been a member for two months. And he sends in a member chat and says, love yous all. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, my man. Happy Halloween. Thank you, Cody. Really appreciate that. One of yeah, our great moderators here. Uh, and then Dreedmem77 sends in a 9.99 super chat. Thanks, buddy. It says, D&T, are you guys excited for the Halloween TV series? Do you think it will have... Uh, have uh, gone like the Crystal Lake series. Gaunt, gaunt. Gaunt. Do you have do you gaunt think it like the Crystal Lake series? I don't know. Is that is that a, a spelling mistake or is that like a new hip? It's got, I know that's got to be a spelling mistake. Probably. Um, um Well, I, we haven't seen the Crystal Lake TV series yet because it's yes, not around not yet. yet. And it comes out next year, right? Um, hopefully, if they can get all the strike. So oh yeah, knows. that's right. They, I, well, that's right. They haven't even filmed it. Holy shit. Well, yeah, I think they may, they, they may have started, but I'm not hundred percent sure. And then the Halloween TV series, um, yeah. listen, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested cause I want to see what they're going to do, but, um, I reserve, I, I don't know. I, I'm not over the moon. I mean, I'm, I'm, I would be okay not having anything Halloween for the next five years. And I don't say that because I'm not a fan. I say that because I am a fan. I say that because I, I also don't want to be oversaturated, you know, with, with Halloween, 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 Halloween. And, and because, you know, the novelty can wear off and I want to be able yeah. to miss Halloween as well. You know, so. and I need some new shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that's exactly. you know what I what I said at the beginning of the stream tonight. That's why I, I, I did a deep dive into these old black and white, you know, monster horror movies from the 30s, yeah. 40s, and 50s and early 60s. Uh, because you know, I I was watching shit I had never seen and I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, I really yes. did. I, I had a lot of fun. There's so much horror stuff out there that you know, um, you, it just helps me appreciate the genre even more, right? you know, and even for me as a creator, you know, um, it, it's sparking those ideas in me of like, Oh, I should try this or, Oh, I should try this or, Oh, I, you know what I mean? Like just yeah, yeah, trying yeah. different things rather. Look, I know if I post a Michael picture, I'm going to get the likes. I get it. Cause it's Michael. And yeah. I, and I understand that, but um, we've even talked about it with our audience before about doing different ideas and different shows just to broaden, you know, we get it. We, we, we love talking about Michael, but there's just so much out there that we can talk about that. It doesn't always have to be, you know, Halloween related. That's true. No, exactly. And, and, and expanding that and, and into other stuff. I couldn't agree more. I absolutely yeah. agree. I absolutely agree. Um, all right. It's 1130 PM. It's 1130 it PM. And this is fun. Is, this is a good, good, good kickback. This was good. Yeah. I can tell sure. you this much. We'll, we'll be back a lot more frequently. <laughs> we'll be back a lot more frequently. There you go. Well, we the month of November might be a bit tricky for me because of everything going on, but, yeah. uh, but certainly, yeah, no, we're looking to get back into the swing and do some more regular shows like regular we, stuff. uh, like yeah. we were doing. We'll and, be back into the swing of things here very, very, very shortly. And the inconsistency, you know, well, and we have, I mean, we have episode 200 on the horizon here. We have to figure out what we're going to no do. No idea what we're going to do, man. No idea. No idea. What, what, what number are we at? 94? So oh, we got six today episodes. is 194. So we got, uh, yeah, um, six more to go. Actually, you know Five what? Five more to go before the big one. Before we before we leave, um, I'll have Dave put my Facebook link next week so it's up there for you guys to follow. But in the chat room, throw some old school, like old school horror movies out leave it in the comment section after the stream like it doesn't matter yeah, what the it, comment section there's no the stream, there's no yeah, don't wrong. do it now because we're about yeah, to end but because we're going to end no yeah. but in the comment section be like hey guys talk about this one i mean don't go to the granddaddies like psycho and the birds and like you know what i mean like yeah, like yeah. if there's something that that you know you've watched or, or you feel like hey you should talk about that you know because i think dave and i have talked about that before just trying to expand into different things but you're our audience and we want to make sure you're going to come back and watch us that's right we get we get it halloween we get it but you know, there's more horror out there that we can talk it's about wonderful. than just well, Halloween. Dude, there's a there's a horror movie I want to see that I haven't seen yet. Uh, it's a Spanish... we definitely need to talk about. They follow. We definitely need to talk about. We that will. Shit. We will. What's the um? Oh Jesus! What's the? Uh, hang on a sec here. Hang on. Is a it sec. they follow? Yeah, they follow. Yeah. So they follow. uh, is it they follows or they follow? They follow. They plural it. Nope. Okay, they follow. Okay. Uh, hang on a sec here. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, yeah, because so, I was going to say, when you guys add me on Facebook too, you can throw suggestions in my DMs or in the comments on a photo. 
anything you guys want and I'll toss them out to Dave, you know, um, and say, Hey dude, what do you think about this? This was suggested by, you know, somebody. Well, um, there's a, there's a, there's a, a horror movie right now. That's all the rage. And, uh, I believe it's, I believe it's a Spanish film. It's subtitled, but it, apparently it's phenomenal and it's called okay. when evil lurks. It's called when, when evil, evil lurks. lurks. And I love okay. the poster. The poster is just a red poster. I'm looking at it right now. Just a red What's poster. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it might be, it might be PVOD you may have to rent it. I'm not sure. Um, but it's getting all the rage right now, yeah. all the buzz and it's got a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, so 99% out of 87 Shit, critics. I can't watch it cause I don't have Amazon prime. Mm. I need a subscription and I don't have AMC. I need a subscription. Watch, watch a trailer for it. <sighs> on YouTube and, and just let me know what you think. It'll eventually, you know I'll, I'll, I'll send my mom a text. She's got Amazon prime. I'll ask her to borrow her access code. There you go. See if she'll let me want. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll send her a there text. Apparently yeah, it's, it's, works. it, apparently it's really good. And, okay. and, I, and, 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 and I don't mind subtitles. I, no, you know, no, yeah, no, no, I'm, no, I'm no, good with, I'm no, good no, with it's, subtitles. it's, it's one again, here it is. It's a foreign horror film, you know, and it's apparently it's really good. It's a, uh, uh, I'll just read the um, uh, synopsis to you. So the synopsis is uh, the residents of a small rural town discover that a demon is about to be born among them. They, well, that's not, that's, I mean, that is true, but that, that doesn't do it justice. Um, apparently it's just really good. Scary as fuck, gruesome, intense. Um, anyways, watch, watch the trailer, watch the trailer. After we're done here um, today, YouTube the trailer, watch it. Uh, cause that's definitely one I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see that. Um, yeah. All right, folks. Well, listen, that's going to do it for episode 194 of two dudes and some bullshit. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Thanks for joining Happy us. Happy Sam Hain. Sa Sal Wayne. Sam Sal Hain. Sal Wayne. Sal Sal Wayne. Sal Wayne. Sal Wayne. Sal Wayne. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Tony and I will be back soon, of course. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, my links are in the description. Uh, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate uh, you tuning in tonight. This was a fun show. A fun show. And um, hope you had a safe, a safe Halloween. Dive into the candies. It's November the 1st. And well, here, at least on the East Coast, it's November the 1st in another 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, Tony, right. any last things you want to say? Freaking November. Eh, whatever. Any last things you want to say? <laughs> no, this is fun. I had fun get, coming back. Um, looking forward to doing more. And um, just like I said, guys, you know, comment section or hit me up on Facebook. And like I said, I'll have Dave get that corrected next week. Throw some ideas, you know, old school horrors, other horror stuff so that, you know, Dave and I can start expanding just beyond you know, Halloween world, right. you know, and, uh, or even the core four scream, Halloween nightmare on Elm street. Uh, all those, uh, what, cause there's just such, it's such a big genre, man. And there's a lot of shit out there that we can talk about and have fun with. I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Uh, thank you to all the super chats that came in today. Thanks, of course, to our great moderators, Frank Riker, Tab of the Short, Darren Sands, Chris Baber, Cody Snyder, and Andrew Stevens. And thank you to my channel members. Again, hey, if you want to become a, a member here on the channel, that link is in the description as well. Happy Halloween, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Later.